this. It can be a companion. It is whatever you make it. Oh, I didn't see nightmare water. I mean, I suppose. Come on, load. There we go. Let me check this first. Well, okay. Through a crawl space in a cruise ship. That seems normal. Whoa! Fuck! So I don't really know what. Oh, it opens the doors. Okay. Whoa. Come get me. Oh boy. God, they're fucking everywhere. So I was following you everywhere but here. Oh, really? Wow. Well, appreciate you. It's very nice. All right, so we have four different heads to try on, apparently. I don't know which one I'm supposed to use. <laughs> Fuck shit! Wow. Like, I don't want to pull this out, because I feel like that's supposed to go in there. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Sleep well, my dude. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate you. Um, I'm sure I'll catch you on one of your streams soon, too. Love you, buddy. The <laughs> final <laughs> cadaver. Sweets to the sweet. The bitter for the bitter. I'm so fucking s Now there's an opening. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Uh... Twitch is so many things to remember, to be honest. It's just weird that I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ooh! Um, or it's a, it's a kawi or kawaii. I want to make sure I pronounce it right. My mistake if I'm uh, if I'm butchering it. But we're actually doing a bitathon next week because um, bits are more affordable than subs. First one kawi. Okay. Thank you. This is a creepy ass fucking kid. Uh. Whoa. Uh, all right, so that's not fucking creepy. I'm just going to keep going. Can I get that through here? Okay, I can. Helsing game. Ah. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, did not think you were going to be a movie. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck. This isn't going to work. Fucking throw a chair at it. 
Fucking ah. Uh. Oh shit! Fucking god damn it! Rough around the edges there. Although I do need your face to finish my mannequin for my character. Nothing here. Nothing there. Okay. Uh, uh, continuing forward then. Uh. Okay. Fucking. That nearly fucking ended me. I didn't really maybe I have to place all the buttons that'll make the noise. Oh hold on. I have to shut the power off in here, folks. <laughs> oh my fuck. There's so many of them. Goodbye. Oh shit! Uh, you can see what's what's good and how I'm doing. It's uh, it's a struggle having to keep the lights on and also keep feeding this thing. Oh god, 119. Of <laughs> Jesus fucking god, mother Mary, fuck. Oh. She's gonna be so mad at me for that. She's around, she's just sniffing everywhere. Like, where the fuck is it? Oh, she came back like, I see it in your hands. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't let you have it. No. Mila, no. All right, so she sits. She's like, okay, I'm sitting. I'm a good girl now. Oh. Steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt. Or be there a fire burning within. Okay. What is this? A key! Probably for that. Oh, what's this? No, it's, why is there a random chalice here? Oh, fucking shit! That's all I'm getting out of it. Oh, layers of fear too. How you reminded me of amnesia at times. Huh, God. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely weekend so far. It has been an interesting Saturday for me. Uh, yard work all morning. Uh, completely crashed for a few hours. Uh, had a really bad headache. Was probably dehydrated, you know, because I was an idiot. Uh, you know, same old. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. And now there's fireworks going off all over the place. So I've got Mila down over here. She's just chilling. She's not too happy about it. Gave her two CBD cookies, so she at least not Hi, whiny. Steve this is the pussy blast off. There it is. Fireworks in here as well. Yeah, it's it's fireworks season here from about May until October. <laughs> it's really bad in my neck of the woods. Um, and then Tater's over here because I think she's just bored. She's just chilling. So, I don't know. We'll see how long they want to hang out for. But we'll see. And I... Yeah, Polish, I'm with you, man. I think they're not... Like, they lost their... I stopped caring about them a long time ago. Um, but, yeah, welcome in, dude. Hope you're doing well. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, so, I was just watching uh, Rasslin with, uh, with Tree and Heavy. It was a good time. Uh, it was the Saturday night show that AEW puts on. Uh, 
So it's, it's playing COD, so I'm in Lurk mode. Oh, word. Gotcha, dude. Thank you. So you, uh, you'll probably notice, too, we are playing Killer Frequency. We're not going to be playing uh, uh, AEW. Um, that was a mistake on my part. I had everything filled out and didn't hit the done button, <laughs> which I've done a few thousand times before, so it is what it is. Be cool if they only fired them off at none on the fourth as a cool display, not just some wild trash confederate flag at east down the alley, blowing them off to impress the teenagers. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> yeah. It used to just be the third and the fourth, like for the longest time growing up. Or if it was the middle of a week, it was either the weekend before or the weekend after. Um but now it's like it's a whole week affair. Um, like there was a couple fireworks last night. There's a lot tonight. There's going to be a lot tomorrow. There's going to be a lot on Monday. Uh, uh, the most amount on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday and Thursday, it's kind of a 50 50 shot. And then Friday will be a, a fucking ton. And then Saturday will be more. And it's like, when do you run out? <laughs> God. So. What can you do? Uh, but it is what it is. You know, people celebrate in any way they want to. Um, unfortunately, uh, the ones that like to party where it impacts other people are the most uh, self-centered people, too. So, anywho, enough of that. Cheers to you all. Happy uh, weekend before the 4th. Oh, that fucking drop always gets me. Oh. This might still be my favorite record this year. There's a lot of close, like, second, third, fourth, fifth, I think are all right there, too. Like, I'm rev I'm reviewing the new Black Braid album. Spoiler alert. Uh, I'm actually turning it in probably tomorrow, and it's, oh, it's so good. Pretty sure I just smoked cat hair. Dude, <laughs> take notes. I need to know. <laughs> All of a sudden, you just transform into Bob and start singing. That'd be awesome. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. So a couple of quick updates. Um, I'm not too sure how much... Do you feel disconnected? <laughs> oh, got him. Uh, McGraw. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So... Uh, I'm not too sure we finished this game tonight or not, and if we do, what do we play next? I don't know. It's going to be a wild card. We'll get there if we get there. Um, and I'm working on the schedule for next week. Uh, next week's going to be a little different. Saturday, uh, so a week from today, there is not going to be a stream. I'm actually going to be at a wedding. Um, so, obviously, I, I'm not going to stream from a wedding. It's kind of weird. <laughs> or stream the wedding itself. Nah. <laughs> All good. You're not missing anything. Uh, so I think I'll try to do a makeup day during the week. Um, I may just do Monday, Tuesday. Just uh, and Oh, I'm sorry. I think I will have the makeup day on Tuesday. So that way it's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. So it feels like we have a good clump of streams. And then um, over the weekend, there won't be anything. Um or maybe they will be. Maybe I'll do something a little extra. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what Sunday has to bring. Uh, that's next week. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I'm hoping to get from Keys. Um, and we also... I think I still have... I'm pretty sure I just got a key recently too, but I don't... Don't uh, quote me on that. I'm just trying to remember what the fuck I put in for. I put in for a couple of indie games I was interested in. So we'll see if we get those. And even if we don't, I'm still going to fucking buy them. So <clears throat> The way that I see it is if I get a key for a game, to me, I need to push that to the front of the line. So, like, uh, not that I need to. I want to. Um... Uh, that and if it's something that's like brand new, like obviously the PR teams are gonna want things back like sooner rather than later. 
<clears throat> so, uh, but I think it helps because otherwise I'm kind of like, hmm, what should I really do next? And sometimes it's like, it get kind of confusing because there's so many, there's so many fucking games. Like even when there's nothing new, there's still a ton of games in a, in a ever growing backlog, which is a great problem to have. May I add, uh, like we definitely find a rough game here and there. That's just not good. But I feel like most games we play, at least that I've, you know, from my point of view have been, you know, maybe not exciting, but enjoyable to some degree. So I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a good time to be alive. I guess if this was all there was, was indie horror games, but I think the CBD finally kicked in. She's laying down. Her hips are kicked out. Her head is on the fucking floor. And she's like, um, 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 uh. <laughs> she's out. Do you plan on playing Homebody? That could be a wrong title. No, that is, um, that's a game. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's out yet. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I added that to my wish list. Just, and I don't, I hate that they call it a wish list. I think, they, I wish they would just call it like favorites or something. I don't know. Name it differently, because it implies like, hey, I want people to buy these games for me. I just do it so I know what games I want, and then it tells me when there's sales and stuff. So that's just me. It is out. It came out a couple of weeks ago. Really? Are you schnittious? And I didn't buy it? Huh. I'm just looking at Steam really quick. Sorry. Mm. Oh, it is out June 1st. Yeah, why do I... F that actually, that wasn't the exact game I was thinking of either, but... Yeah, this game is not on my wish list, but it is now. Oh, shit! Bro, in this game appears to be find the... the one time I have Steam on my page that blocks OBS. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Holy shit. I'm like, why do I hear Doc? And I'm like, did someone do like a redemption? And I'm like, What's oh, that? fuck, it's Jesus, Doc. Come on, man. Well, hello, everybody. Yo, Papa Narwhal and Lawn Dog, hello, thank you so much for the follows. Welcome to the mob. Hi, everybody. Damn. What the fuck? Seriously, like, my Steam, like, ah! is always right here, so I can consistently see what's going on OBS in, like, the smallest oh, window of time you found it. Fucking found it. Ginger has a soul. Night, ah, like the name. Oh, oh. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the mob. Saknika. Valdis the Vi Is it Valdis or Valdis? Valdis the Viking. Ah, oh, oh. Rando12415. Nice. Welcome to the mob, everybody. Huh. Yo, Streamlabs, you gotta keep up, bro. All right. Doc, what's up, dude? How you doing? What are we, uh, what were you playing today? Um, hi, Monster Mom. What's up? <laughs> uh, well, I hope you had a good stream, man. Uh, how am I doing? Uh, it's... Mm, pretty good. Uh, tons of fireworks going on around me, so I have a, I have a passed out dog at my feet. Um, we'll see for how long. Uh, but yeah, she's uh, she doesn't like the fireworks, so I uh, hit her with the CBD treats. Sitting there shaking for a bit, and all of a sudden, oh, oh, oh blah, right out. Played night security, fantastic, and Faz of uh huh, great. That's such a good stream to me. I uh, I love night security. I mean, I'm a huge fucking chill as art uh mark so i may not i may be a little biased uh yeah what'd you think of night security i thought that was so i guess that's the one it's so there's three brothers um two of them usually do most of the work and design and whatnot and the third brother will help out from time to time and this is like the first game where that third brother like took the reins and the other two took back seat and uh i think he fucking nailed it Poor pupper indeed, yeah. Now, Monster Mom, it's not that one. 
I still need to get um, an emote for Mila, but that dog's tater. She was just in here for a few minutes because she was bored. But she's in the other room, laying on the bed, probably watching TV. I shit you not. <laughs> she really enjoys Degrassi. Uh, <laughs> but shit, yeah. Um, what's this game about? Uh, so Killer Frequency? Um, I actually uh, really liked the idea. From the, the first time I heard what the game was about, I really enjoyed it. Oh, Degrassi. <laughs> it's the only pop yeah, I know, it's the only pop one. I'm going to make one for Mila. Because that's Tater, but we'll get there. It was good. There was one skin that hit me so hard I nearly crapped. Oh, God. I would say that's either the one with the fuse, when you put the fuse in and turn around, or when you're on um, the entire dummy floor. There's just like little mini ones, then the big one at the end of it. Or I could be wrong. It could be something else. Show that I obsessed over. Oh, yeah. Me and my sister used to watch it all the time. Oh, Doc's here. Hello, Doc and Juggernaut. Hello! Uh, so, yeah, I'm sorry. Back to Killer Frequency. So, essentially, you are a DJ that came in from, I think it's from Chicago, and he now works at KFAM, KFAM Radio. Uh, he must have got, like, lost his job or something. This is, like, a small town radio station. Uh, so, him and the producer are working late. They're doing their thing. And, uh... The sheriff is found murdered by the 911 dispatcher, the only one in town. And she was leaving town to go get help. So she reroutes all of the 911 dispatch calls to the radio station while we're playing some smooth jams, mind you. And uh, there's a fucking killer on the loose in town. And we have to help people escape the killer. I saved a couple people so far, but uh, let's just say uh, maybe more, more or less everyone else is dead. But uh, I was saying when I think when this game was just coming out, I said to myself, wow, this reminds me of Pawnee Pool, which is like an old like Canadian horror film. Uh, it's like a guy, it's like a DJ, like, hanging out in his uh, studio with the producer and everything and like a zombie-esque type apocalypse occurs outside of them and they hear about it from working in the radio station so it's like complete isolation and hearing the world like pretty much die on the other end it's it was actually a really cool concept so it's i'm like ah it's kind of reminds me of that funny enough we actually take a couple phone calls from this one guy who's outrageously eccentric. Uh, he owns a pizza place in town that's called uh, uh, Pawnee's Pizza. And I'm like, that's got to be after Pawnee Pool. It has to be. Oh, thank you, Ash, for the lurk. Appreciate you. That sounds really fun. Was that the whole album already? Oh, wow, it was. Oh, yeah, because it's only like 23 minutes. Oh, my God. Anywho, we're good. <laughs> That's great. It sounds really yeah. So yeah, so Papa, it's it's a good time. We played um, like th three or four hours of it uh, on Monday. I think we. I was really into it. Uh, Doc, your dad. <laughs> oh, yeah, That's crazy. I want to see that? Cool. Well, um, yeah. So now that you're now that you're all here, you're ready for some fun. Um, I see in the top right hand corner. Of course, it's off camera for me now. Uh, every three subs of any kind, right, uh, adds to that counter. And every three, I have to spin this wheel. Uh, we were up around like 60 from the bidathon that we ran earlier this uh, last month now. It's July. Holy fuck. Uh, but yeah, I owe some spins. Uh, we're still down to 10. I'm going to do one and see how that goes. So let's uh let's see what happens. It's not gonna load for me. What is this shit? What in the world? Oh, there it is. Stream elements. Get your shit together. My God. <laughs> All right. What do we got? 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 Yes. Ooh, that was right in between the death nut and the goddamn beef jerky from hell.
Okay. First of July, center of the year. Yeah, it's true. Good point. Um, it wasn't hot sauce. There's eight different hot sauces on that wheel, by the way. In fact, uh, so I'll show you guys so, um, if you haven't seen this before. And now it's going to... Okay. Um, I will not be partaking in the death night. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, um, the death nut. So, Doc, I will tell you, the first two bags of peanuts are doable. They hurt, but they're doable. Three will break you, and you'll be like, I don't know if I can keep going. That's where I quit. Four and five still exist. They're on this wheel. Four is very bad. Five is literally one of the hottest fuck... No, I think that is the hottest thing that's on this wheel that I do. It is awful. Love the metal man. Thank you. Appreciate it, Lawn Dog. Yeah, I, uh... Mostly... Heavy metal... Uh... Hardcore... Uh... A lot of that type of stuff I play in here. But then, like, I'll throw on a random, like... 90s and early 2000s summer jams list. <laughs> it gets fucking crazy in here sometimes. Come on, Doc. You're not dead. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm sitting here moving my mouse around the screen as if you guys can see it. Sorry. Uh, so, at 12 o'clock, uh, we'll start to the right. Uh, that is straight up uh, the one of the worst fucking things that's ever existed. The Bean Boozled Beans. Uh, I did Dead Fish one time. That thing almost made me vomit on stream. No, Doc can't die. It's correct. Uh, the beans are, are bullshit. Uh, I've, I think we've landed on it once since I incorporated just these. Oh, that fucking cattle decapitation? My god, my fucking soul just left my body. Fuck. Um, Bahan Star? Pretty solid hot sauce. Uh, bat? Is Bat Country? Uh, that's also hot sauce. Pretty good. Uh, fourth bag of the Death Nuts. It's really bad, as I mentioned. Uh, plum. That's Plum Dog Millionaire. It's a hot sauce. That one's very good. Adrenochrome is one of the hottest hot sauces I have right next to the other two very hot ones. It has Maruga Scorpion as well as Carolina Reaper. Uh, the Verde hot sauce is uh, quite good, actually. Uh, Everyday Hero is pretty solid. Another hot sauce. The Death Nut is net number five. Uh, chocolate, which is what we have. It's the last piece of it, so it's retiring after today. Unless I add it on to Throne. Oh, by the way, if you guys are into, like, checking out Throne and stuff, and no, you don't have to. If you scroll down, um, I have a little Throne image you can click on, and it has a bunch of, like, spicy shit, just obnoxious stuff, uh, which two things have actually been added in here from that, one of which is the uh, beef jerky, the other one being candy. You gonna go watch YouTube? Well, enjoy. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for the follow, Rando. Hope you have a good evening. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, this is a chocolate bar with habanero pepper in it, so I'm gonna eat that shortly. Uh, beef jerky is probably the second hottest thing on the wheel. That was purchased by uh, Endeavor Endeavor. Um... It's Carolina Reaper, like, soaked beef jerky. It is awful. Uh, and then candy, that was actually purchased by Laser Lady. And that is a blue raspberry ghost pepper candy. They're really good. Like, a little kick in there. But they're really good. So. Anywho, let's kill off this chocolate bar. Here's the uh, herder. Bigger camera, please. Thank you. Uh, so this is the wrapper. Chocolate bar from hell. It's got a little demon at the end of it that obviously fell off, but... Or hanging off. There he is. Uh, and this is the last piece right here. So, uh, cheers. Like... 
pretty straightforward milk chocolate bar. They're good. But like, every once in a while, you, t you get a little taste of something else. Oh. And that's when it hits. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god. So you do any of the hot ones sauces? Some of them are legit delicious. Oh, so the only one that gets joked about is um the last was it Da Bomb and um The Last Shot, I think they call it. Um people keep joking I should do those, and I'm like, no, I know they're gonna taste like shit. Like I've had hot sauces that just do not taste good at all, and it's just death, and I don't want that shit. Oh, Papa, thanks for stopping in. Thank you for the follow. Hope to see you again soon. Have a lovely evening. Brew beer with the bomb. No, stop, Tree. You see, Doc, this guy right here, Tree. Troublemaker, I tell you. <laughs> um, ooh. But, uh, yeah, I've never, I never really tried the other ones, but I've heard of good things. Uh, which ones do you particularly recommend? The Last Dab. That's what it was. Last time actually doesn't taste that bad. De bomb does. <laughs> that makes sense. My God, I've listened to this band in years. Oh. <clears throat> that is impressive. <laughs> De bomb is pure hell. Yeah, that's what I'm gathering too. Uh oh. All right, let me do a really quick last uh, message review on myself here. Oh, good. The wife is on her way home soon from the Towns Over uh, fireworks exhibition show. I don't really call it. Had wings with it once and it was like battery acid. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> Seventh Reaper is so good. Is that one of the ones in the uh in the challenge list, I I would suppose? Extravaganza! What's up, Scaredy? Welcome in. <clears throat> yes? Okay, good to know. Seventh Reaper. I'm gonna write it down in my notes. I have a random notepad plus plus tab of just random shit that people tell me on here. Ugh. Let's see. Seventh Reaper hot sauce. All right, cool. I put that underneath how to make absinthe because I'm eventually going to put that. Well, how to drink absinthe properly, I should say, because I have a bottle of it downstairs. And also beneath <laughs> Cal Exotics, which was provided to me on the uh, the joke of making a jug plug. Yeah, the, the, the jug plug. <laughs> what? Awful. The garlic happiness sauce? Ooh. Oh, take this note. Take Grey Hill Instant off your wish list. It is complete and total shit. So I've heard. <laughs> so I've heard. Um, I am, I saw you were playing it the other day. I, I, I tabbed you up and I was just like, I don't want to watch because like, well, for one, I also want to spoil it for myself because I want to make it like a punishment game. At least I'll be surprised what I'm about to watch, but knowing it's going to be as rough, I'm like, I don't like to see my friends get tilted. <laughs> Jugsplugs.live. That doesn't work, does it? I thought it was just, I thought it was only Jugs.live that worked. Made it before I found a kit. Ooh. You're going to be opening up the most bizarre restaurant on the planet. <laughs> That's true. Jug plug. Yep. Buying it next week. I was in literal pain. Yes, only for punishment. Okay, good. Only Jugs.Live does work. It does. <laughs> if you click on that link, everybody, only Jugs.Live, it will just actually refresh the page on you because you're already there. <laughs> So sad. Looks so good in all of the pre-release press. Yeah, I was all I saw was the same shit. I was uh, I was excited for that one. Um, I didn't know anything about going into it. Still don't really. I just know it's it's just not a good game. Um, but the other one uh, was it they are here. 
that demo scared the fuck out of me and it's like 15 minutes long everything goes from zero to 60 real fucking quick um uh, and i hope that one that one's supposed to come out next year they moved it up to next year and it's fine take as long as you need man like if once that game's ready and it comes out oof like i remember as a kid watching the movie signs and it like sincerely creeped me the fuck out um which is funny because i'm always like oh yeah it's just sci-fi it's aliens i love alien movies didn't do it for me holy fuck was i scared <laughs> Another alien themed game that looks pretty good. Saw creepy playing it. It's called There Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I recommend getting the demo. It's worth it. It's short, scaredy, but it's very good. Um Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that game's gonna be fun. Um so yeah, I only went over the I I already went over the schedule for next week which is pretty much still in pro work in progress um and then the oh my god you scared the fuck out of me Oh my god. Oh. Wife just got home and she just stomped on the landing and I felt it and it made my soul just absolutely leave my body. <laughs> oh. I didn't know what the fuck that was. I was like, my dog's right there. The smaller dog is over there, but that was not the smaller dog that made that. Ooh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. As much as I'm not hating this Suicide Silence song, I'm, uh... I'm ready to play some Killer Frequency. I hope you all are, too. Ah! Why is that? Sorry, the sa I shut the sound off in the OS and I forgot to keep the window open. And it's perfect timing because now the song's over. Hey, what you sipping on? That was my last uh, Sam Adams porch rocker. It's as if you've never had it before. It's essentially like drinking a beer that's mixed with lemonade. It's a very safe beer fantastic beer for the summer okay killer frequency we're hopping back into this shit i don't remember where we left off it was only five days ago but i've already forgot why did you heave that thing all the way up here uh because the basement's heave creepy what? as hell and i don't like standing around down there oh the basement Fair. yeah was all not right. a fan let's run through this again we have a creepy board you found in a creepy Fuck. basement made by our creepy janitor Oh yeah, is the mannequin the room. Creepy whistling man. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names. IRL Jeff jump scare. Brody, <laughs> Thank Walker, you, Fry. Rebecca Allen and Aunt Williams. Correct. Fuck. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's, Clive's next target? That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there too: the hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any yep. of the potential mm -hmm. targets are at one of these locations tonight. Sure. Hit the button if you need any help. Yeah, I'll hit the button in a minute. I'm busy. I'm shooting baskets. Listen to some sick fucking jams. All right, Jack, head on home. You have a great stream. Yo, Doc, thank you so much for the raid again, man. Hope you have a lovely evening with whatever you're doing. Uh, have a good night's sleep if that's what you're heading to, which, hey... Sounds good to me, man. But uh, I'll see you soon. Be good. Thank you so much. All right, one more basket for three. I hit the wrong button for three. Damn it. Oh. All right. Um, 
What the hell are we doing here again? Oh, yeah, I wanted to see something over here. So there's Gallo, Gallows Creek Road closures. East side of McCready Street will be closed. Yeah. And they will access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield. Yeah, Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield. It doesn't say the, the part into Haddonfield would be closed down. That was garbage. They died for no reason. How's it going? Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Uh, yes, please. Why not? Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Oh, Peggy with the MVP moves. Alright. There's a lot of shit here. Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, Aunt Williams, Chuck Brody. These pictures rule. So improv club, car club, car club, athletics club. So, okay, so we got Chuck Brody, athletics club. Festival of disaster, big little breaks free, injured, who is to blame? <sighs> I don't know what you would really put, something about festival of death. Cars or athletics, no, improv? Not really. Just put it here for now, I guess. Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Former Gallus High School football captain Chuck Brody suffered a careering injury as a victim of the festival disaster late last year. Oh, that's why that's there? Okay. That's most certainly a Chuck... Uh... Yeah. Okay. To help him on his road to recovery, we are buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Pun not intended. Yikes. Drop tickets in the bucket below. Thanks. Okay. Justice for fe for festival victims. A two-year investigation to the festival accident has concluded. Investigators blame two engineers that were contracted in from the local power station. Lead engineer Ant Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett. We're distracted talking about horror movies while assembling the big wheel. Whoops. Which led to various construction mistakes. They have been ordered to be to do community service for a total doesn't say. So that's related to Aunt Williams. And he's got Staff Surge at Power Station. Gallows Creek Power Station hires 20 new staff and record hire 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek High. Ooh, that's not good. That's not you should be hiring people from. We'll put power station down here. Marriage announcement. We would like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker and Pete Stein on 30th May 1970. Best wishes to the happy couple. Congratulations. Kim Walker and Peter Stein. Yeah, Kim Walker. Improv Club. Flew for thought, local doctor K. Walker, Kim Walker, recommends all locals get their flu shot ASAP. Flu season upon us. 1984 is no different to any other year. Make sure you are protected. Okay. So she got married 14 years before. Okay. Just make that clear. All right. <clears throat> Gallows Reporter, this is July 19th, 1977. Crime syndicate impounded. Criminal operation shut down 24 arrests. Instead, informant walks free. 
Police have to say finally put an end to the long-running car thieving crime syndicate. The arrests were made after a member gave up information on their co-conspirators to investigators. The informant who asked to remain anonymous and will hereafter be referred to as R.A. has walked free with no charges. R.A., you say? So it's Rebecca Allen? Car club? Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. If you screwed somebody over like that, and this was back in 77, and it's supposed to be in the 80s right now, may have gotten out of prison already. Gallows Creek Game Day. Gallows Creek High versus Quiet Ridge High. Saturday, 8th of March, 1969. Match Day Magazine. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that must be uh, our boy. Yeah, that's Chuck Brody. 69. Oh, that's obnoxious. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Beep, beep, look out, tragedy. Five dead, 16 injured after brakes fail on bus. This is in May 12th, 1977. Tragedy struck Gallows Creek yesterday afternoon after a bus failed to stop and crashed into a fuel tanker. Deceased have been identified as Gallows Creek locals. Mr. D. Rudd, Mr. M. Hewtown, Mr. P. Stein, Mrs. K. Stein, and Mrs. J. Mildred. The Steins. <gasps> Peter Stein. Oh, no. So she's dead. Look, P. Stein and Mrs. K. Stein. She probably took his last name. No, because they, they mentioned her as Doc K. Walker still. Hmm. Well, either way, her husband's dead, so that sucks. 77 to 70. Yep. Okay. March 22nd, 1986. Trailer for sale. Cheap. Sale price $10,000. Lot 101, 63 McCready Street, Gallows Creek. Contact state agent Tyler Wallace for info. I'm sick of being a local celebrity. People are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer and leaving town east. I just want to get out of here. Please buy it. Tyler Wallace. That name's not up there. But that's related to Kim Walker. No. Who stole the cars? Oh yeah, Rebecca Allen. Okay. I can go there. 86. Yeah, that's nine years later. 1987 Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention, Tuesday the 1st through Sunday the 16th of September. 6th of September. If you care about health and safety? Good. Then come on down to the yearly convention. Get started in a career in health and safety. Learn about health and safety in the workplace. Featuring special mystery guests. I can't read that. The lead engineer responsible for the Gallows Creek Harvest Festival disaster in 1972. They say you learn from your mistakes while I turned mine into a career. Lead engineer responsible? That's Aunt, uh... So Chuck Brody got hurt. But the person that was working... Aunt Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett... Put that down there. Is your car safe? Sheriff Matthews warns citizens to look up for suspicious behavior after multiple car thefts. The crime of 70 will be stopped. I can assure you, you must work together to bring down this criminal organization. Peace, something or other. That's here. No, um, sorry, here. 70, this is 77. All right, that goes here. Goes there. Goes there. All right. Two more. 24 hour gas station bought by local ex lottery winner. Christine's gas repair has been sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. The new owner claims it will keep me busy on an evening. He's asked to remain anonymous. 14 years ago would have been 72. That's right, that's the same year. 77, 70... 
70, 77. Around, this is going to be around the same time as the festival, which was 72, 1969. Hmm. The one it lines up with is here, but what does that necessarily mean? Who would have won the lottery that night? It's from this you know, same newspaper. Wow, price is up 25 cents. Cheap. You want to bed? Everyone's going to sleep. Okay. Sorry about that. Diary of a Car Thief. Police informant tell all book. That's definitely her. The picture. It's the same picture, but in reverse. Rebecca Allen. You guessed that right. So she ends up writing a book. Oh, yeah. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> Local legend takes to Manhattan, February 11, 1987. Infamous author of Tell All Book, Diary of a Car Thief, moves out of Gallows Creek for a new life in the big city. She stole our cars, and then she stole our time and money, said our review reviewer Jim Randy last year. More on page 15. 1987. That's... Oh, yeah, that's... So this, uh... Yep. <laughs> Sold it. Uh, it took it took almost a year, so I think it's pretty clear who the asshole is here. But Aunt Williams could have caused this; he could be the killer. But eh, he couldn't be. Well, I don't know what his injury was. No, his injury here it was the festival disaster. And it says, "Tell how oh, his road to recovery. We are buying some tickets. Hopefully, he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Pun not intended." So that means he was, it wasn't like he was actually like crippled or anything from the event. He was definitely hurt. Couldn't play anymore. So he could blame that on Aunt Williams. Rebecca Allen is, um, an, uh, a narc. So that's a potential, but who she narked on could also be the killer. And then Kim Walker doesn't really match up because Kim Walker was gets married, husband dies, she's a doctor, and says, hey, take your flu shot, be good to yourself. And then this gas station like lottery thing is extra. It's, it's basically that little piece right there that was important, the book, and also confirming who that was. Which is her. There's, I, there's, there's, there's so much more in Rebecca Allen. There's so much more in Rebecca Allen. Trailer Park. Hospital. Gas station. I mean, those don't really matter. But yeah, there's two potential ways this could go. How's it going? Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. Yeah, we said this already. There's four locations, right? And four people. Yep. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. Okay. And if they are. We can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Yeah, what's uh, today's date? Yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. 
try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. That was the same thing that was already playing. So that wasn't very helpful. I just really wish I knew what day it was, because no one makes it very clear. Slam dunk. Oh, there we go. Today. Nineties it's the it's September third, nineteen eighty seven. Find September third. There's gotta be a September third somewhere. Oh my god. That's it. Nothing else is nothing else is eighty seven. This is be this is between the dates. Yo, it's Aunt Williams. And he's gonna be where? Where is it? Power station, hospital, maybe the hospital? Would it be at the gas station? That's for sure. Hospital makes the most sense. All right, Aunt Williams, you fucked up. Oh. oh, that's the old notes for the other thing. Okay. Oh. See if there's anything else that makes sense here. There's Ponty's Pizza. The girl's reporter, Grown Spree. I think it has to be the hospital. 143k, Maddie is stable. They don't know when they'll be home. Well, it seems like things are trending upwards, I will say. So that does sound good. Yeah, all right. So I'm with Aunt Williams at the hospital. That's going to be what we're going to do. How's it going? I'm okay, thanks. I think I've almost got it. Good luck. Oh, okay. How's That's Bish is saying no. I'm ready. Peggy? Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. I'm pretty certain. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? It's Aunt Williams, for sure. Aunt Williams. And where will I find them? <sighs> Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Come on down to the yearly convention. Place we can express much guess. Da, 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 da. What is it? Hold on. Is it F? No. How do I? There's nothing on the back. Fuck. I don't know for certain if he's at the hospital for this. Probably not. He's more connected with the power station. That's where he worked. It's health and safety. Wouldn't be at the trailer park at the gas station. Let's let's go with the power station. I, I yeah I know hospital is my first guess, but I'm doing power station. It the just it makes station. more sense. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Forrest, I'm through to the power plant, but... 
They say there isn't anyone by that name there. What? Then who? <gasps> Jeez! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? Oh my god. The call board. It... I... One moment. Forrest, I'm getting so many calls. Just let me... I'm gonna take us off air for a moment. <sighs> Peggy, what's happening in there? Fuck! It was probably the fucking hospital. Peggy. I'm back. Gas I'm station? Gas station, Forrest. Okay. I spoke <gasps> to the fire department and the hospital. The fire department is useless now, as you know. And, uh... The hospital's only 72? at the gas station. Forrest, you, you've got to say something on the radio. You have to tell the town. I'm putting us back on air. Fuck. Now. Okay, that makes sense. Gallo the hospital blew up. Just kidding. Yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, the gas station's been bombed. Please, everyone, stay safe. God damn it. Stay inside. I thought the lottery was just a red herring. Oh, just bring us I never thought they would be Forrest. connected. <laughs> Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16 The Stream. The Scream. <sighs> Fuck, man. I had it all figured There's out. There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. <laughs> like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. I don't want to go back down there. God damn it all. All right, fine. Can we get down to the basement again? I think there's stairs somewhere. Fuck. I don't want to go back down there. I'm not getting in there tonight. There's a killer on the loose forest. All right, so it was this door. I'm just dumb. Because we think that whoever the janitor was here is potentially the killer or is being set up to look like him. Check this out. Fuck, where's... Oh, yeah, right here. Um, this is not what I was thinking of. It's the break room. Where the fuck did I go for this again? Oh, fuck that. No, no, no. So many locked doors, so few keys. It was this one. No, maybe not. I thought it was down here. I do have to go down the other door, don't I? Fuck. I don't remember going down this far. Or do I? Head juice. From Buzz Soda. Alright, this is it. Some fucked up things going on in here. So that was one person that got killed. Yep, there's the Aunt Williams right there. Fuck. It's another girl. These are all the people that have died so far. Oh. Did we not? Oh, I think they closed automatically. Okay. Phew. Hmm. The key. Was this always here? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Where do you see a fucking key around here, my dude? It's a screwdriver. Where are you seeing a key? Oh my god, what the fuck? 
Basement storage. Oh, great. So he comes in and out of here as he pleases. And he knows we've been in there. So now he's playing with us. And that's how he's getting in and out so easily. Fuck that. I can't sprint. I hate it. The music just stopped as I opened this door. Hey, Florence. Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. I hate you, Peggy. God, that was awful. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. George Ballow, 1968. That's when this all began for me. That deserves another beer. I don't have another one, sadly. But I would. <laughs> Wait. George Barrow? We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Has Clive really been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. Oh, God. I guess that's what this map is Dang, about. indeed. Yeah, sure, no big deal. It's just a fucking planned scavenger hunt. The wrong button. The hell? Why am I not able to... Oh, it's E. So I have to find the radio near what looks like a juice box. I guess. I guess I'll carry it with me. That doesn't hurt, right? Oh. Wait, that's not it. Oh, I don't like this. Alright, that's not it, but this looks like it's another one, but not the right one. I don't know if I want to do that one yet. Let me look at this again and just double confirm. Oh, no, there's the copper wire behind it. I see it now. Okay, 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 okay. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. Let the hate flow the through you. <laughs> One more time. I missed the time last detail. Is 7 a. M. Mm -hmm. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. Yeah. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. Five hours. I don't know what she didn't say what time it was to start though. Oh yeah, she did. Seven a.m. Okay, so it's two a.m. Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna go to the next one. Which is like kind of kitty cornered, and there's also a document in that shelf, it appears. Okay, we'll keep moving forward, I guess. What's this delivery note? September 2nd, 1987, delivery notes, blah, 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 Starling Security. Supervisor, it's, I'm assuming, Clive Atkins? 
Channel order number, delivery method to the van, delivery address, so the hospital that we installed, that we installed, that we installed. Unable to install, require new parts to installation date September 17th. Client opted for manual installation. Installation of what? Oh, the security system. Oh, that sucks. That means that our killer set up the security system, which means he's definitely watching right now. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> he's left the notes out for us. How sweet. This seems bad. Oh, yeah. Status indicator, arm to power, display, keypad input, battery hatch. Entering codes and commands, sequ sequential key depressions must be made within four to five seconds of one another. If four to five seconds elapse without a key depression, the entry will be aborted and must be repeated from its beginning. Be sure to observe this precaution when performing any of the procedures in this manual. If you make a mistake while entering a security code, stop, press the star, then start over. If you stop in the middle while entering a code and then immediately start the entry over, an erroneous code might be entered. Okay, good to know. Factory access codes. Introduction. Our state-of-the-art security system uses a six-digit code system. Simply enter the code into the keypad and feel total peace of mind. Starlink Security Alarm System 4000 comes with a range of features. Default codes for these features are listed below. Note, please change these codes immediately to prevent unwanted entry. Hmm. Access codes. Maintenance call code. 311212. Alarm test. Warning, this will set off all security measures. 191519. All right, we're not doing that one. Alarm test deactivation code, 811220, entry code 715914. Okay. Entry and deactivate, thank you, yeah. I don't know what maintenance call code does. That kind of bothers me. I'm going to carry this around for a minute. If, or maybe I can't. So I want to make sure I have that with me, but it's okay. Let's... I don't like the audio there at all. Oh, I found it. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, the documents in the thing here. Oh, what's this? This looks useful. Oh shit, an idiot. Damn it! Police Department, ton of Gal Town of Gallows Creek. <laughs> Investigating officer and supervisor officer are just apostrophes. Prepared by Sheriff J. Matthews. Okay, so he's the one that did all of it. Miss Sandra Sharp, via telephone call, 4 a.m. September 3rd, 1968. Date and time report written, same day. Before you have a call was received from a jogger, a Miss Sandra Sharp reporter reporting that a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove up to investigate and was able to identify the body at the scene as that of George Barrow. I contacted the coroner's office and then the boy's parents. They informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. on the 2nd. Okay, so from 7 to 2, it's a five-hour gap of him not, his not, no, uh, his know about's not known. <clears throat> and then he was dead for two hours when Sandra Sharp found him. <laughs> Alarm test 069420. Correct. Okay. This is good information. Let's look at this next one. This one is over in the corner somewhere next to some receivers. No document, just the radio. Okay. Cool. Cool. Disco time. I'm just gonna let me get that one more time. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face, typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet, 
As though the deceased had been running without stopping. Okay, got it. Good. Terrible, but good. We're we're getting closer. I hate this. Please work and don't break. All right, the writing is ineligible. That's not the same one. I don't think. Hello? No, I'm very scared. That's not the that's not the right one either. These are different ones. I don't want to get it out of order. I don't want to cause any problems. I don't think that's it either, but oh my god. Because it was on like a shelf. I swear, it was in like a corner some. Oh, here it is. I walked right fucking past it. I'm a genius. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate <laughs> moments before death. Shit. Alright, so that's the one that's next to the fan. Okay, got it. It's back this way. Not that one. It's this one over here. Come on. I don't know why I'm kneeling. I'm a scared. Nothing these ones. What's up, Twy? Welcome in, friend. Oh, ho, ho. so this dude did it took it he was transported oh my god so whoever spooked but this was the best I got I thought it, it worked good and I appreciate that effort too uh what's that yeah same old thing just chilling they were like yeah definitely drowning well they probably found they probably found him drowned somewhere Also, there was no image. Oh, there was an image here. I just didn't see it. Just want to confirm. So this one looks like the one that's in there. Yeah. So I found that by accident. Which is fine. Makes my life a little bit easier when I solve things ahead of time. Here it is. Uh, junk on top. All right. First things first. This has to be important. Officer of the County Medical Examiner, Town of Gallons Creek, Iowa. Report investigation by County Medical Examiner. Okay. Um, type of death. Nothing's... Oh, just found dead. Time approximate. 2100 hours. Oh, time of death. I'm sorry, I made you do this, Virginia. Oh, God. What's Virginia's uh, last name? I was like, is it, like, the boy's mother? That'd be fucked. So, wait, so 2100, that is, um... That's 9 p.m. We thought it was 2 in the afternoon... 2 in the morning the next day. That's weird. Whoa, what's with the new content? May not be appropriate to watch or learn your channel. Ah, uh, that's a new Twitch thing. 
Um, and I basically clicked off on everything that's potential. That should be the one and only time you ever have to do it, though, hopefully. <laughs> and welcome in, friend. Hope you're doing well. The deceased of Caucasian male age 18, the cause of death is established to be drowning, is shown by the signs of asphyxiation. See section 2, paragraph 4 for more details. Abrasions were found on the knuckles, likely from getting into fights in the past. Matches with known history of the deceased being aggressive. Wow, we're really gonna fucking shit on this fucking corpse? Okay. No other injuries were observed, and from the coroner's opinion, there is no evidence of foul play. Well, that's a fucking lie. Additionally, the preliminary toxicology report indicates the deceased had a high level of alcohol in their blood. Well, they just said the toxicology thing came back clean except for his cortisone levels. Is it the coroner's opinion that the deceased went swimming while intoxicated, resulting in his drowning? What the fuck, Virginia Sullivan? You fucking liar. Wait, I'm sorry I made you do this. Made her lie. Who made her do that? Who is this note from? Virginia, why? She was told to do it. I don't think we're after Virginia, but she may be a potential victim. If not already. This one is by the filing cabinet desk. Yep, okay. That's our boy right there. Whoever came in and did that, he's our problem child. He's the one that pissed off Clive. Scare Magazine, the creepy hour. It is pretty creepy. Truck, full color, nuts and bolts action. Toyota 4x4 is un American? Megalo truck, real or myth? Truck, boat, truck, the ultimate in off road, offshore transportation. Ammo and whiskey, free coupon. The Mud and Season Edition. What for do we do it? What? <laughs> the fuck did I just read? Alright, uh, what's this? Humpty, uh, the Gallows Creek High presents Humpty Dumpty, a story of love, tragedy, and betrayal, starring Maisie Cartwright as Don, George Barrow as Henry, also with Mary Campbell as Anne. Hmm. But George Barrow's the guy who's dead. Maisie and Mary are sound, sound like female names, and we suspect that person that came in was a male voice. I don't think that works. Unless, of course, it was George that came in, and the body they were looking at was actually not George. If you're listening to this, then I'm probably dead. What? What the? So this is Clive, it's his voice. There's more I could say than I should say, but my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out. So, oh 
Hopefully I've said enough for you, listener. Who paid off Clive? To start putting the truth together. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. I hardly fucking believe it. We thought Clive was gonna be the killer. He's the one that had the creepy fucking mannequin room. I'm so glad no one was right there watching me. I would have fucking died. Oh, all right. We need to get the fuck out of this basement. Tell Peggy what the fuck's up here. Fuck this, man. So Clive's probably dead, too. For all we fucking know. Oh, wrong way. Jesus. Give me the fuck at what? Oh, I can't talk to her here. I, what the fuck? I thought I was talking to her here. What am I supposed to be doing? Follow the trail of clues and discuss them with Peggy over the intercom. Yeah, the fucking intercom right here. Oh. What have you found, Forrest? Oh. It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape that talks more about how George died. Sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. You signed it. The caller from earlier. When we had to call the takeout restaurant. Wasn't her name Virginia? We need to call her back once we finish down here. It, it looks like she might know something about what's going on. I found a tape that introduces a new... One of the few people story. I saved. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio <laughs> producer, not a coroner. <laughs> hmm. Fair enough. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body. I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on here? I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier, Sandra Sharp. The jazz runner? The jazz runner, right. holy fuck. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah? What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's yeah. what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a small Where's the reservoir? on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. Yep. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? And the sheriff's like dead. That, I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. I right, saved her Once too. Done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but 
Then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. This, this is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? It's very possible. We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said wrong. he read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Ugh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said... The mannequins are weird, though. ...threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? Uh, I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive... Peggy is the killer. <laughs> uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. I don't think that's very possible to do. From beyond the grave. And it's now 3 a.m. Thank God you're back, Forrest. Me too. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. How are we supposed some to smooth keep a jazz show going you. with all this happening? This is our job, Peggy. We, we gotta do it. Oh, you're right. So, what's the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. Alright, I'll get her on the line. Sounds good. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. We're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. Fremen Plunker here. Who's this? Is it you? Plonker, it's Goose. Goose! Goose, 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 Goose! Where are you? Get your ass here. The party has moved. Oh, cool. Where's it moved to? This old lady's house. Oh, she, she's pretty cool, though. She said we could raid her a liquor cabinet if we stayed and protected her. Of course, we're not drinking anymore. We're staying sharp. In case that whistling turd turns back up. Oh boy. This is on the radio you're saying help? that. Of course, man. Of course. Hey, could you put me on with the old lady? You know, to check if it's cool for me to drop by. Oh, there's that goose respect we love. <laughs> I'll grab her now. Uh, hello? Is this goose? Hey, <clears throat> hey uh, Dr. Sullivan. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm I'm glad you're still okay. Oh. Forrest. There's a goose. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Don't be sorry. You've been through oh, a yeah, lot. Baby. I'm so sorry this happened. Yo, to you, Jeff. Virginia. Welcome in. How are you, my friend? <laughs> Look at that luscious beard. Captions totally ruined that woman. My god. <laughs> What's good, my dude? What were you playing tonight? 
hope you're having a splendid evening and stream. I I thought... We're doing killer frequency today. He's trying to wrap up it up. Calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because Pikmin we Ford demo. Oh, you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. Me? How was what it? What would I know? Does the name Clive mean anything to you? Clive? No, I don't know that name. Don't fucking lie to me. What are you asking about this for? You mentioned that name earlier. When you called us the first time. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. I was Life's petrified. At our station. And we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. He'll come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. Never played we a Pikmin game before, so there's certainly yeah. a game. <laughs> Fair enough. But isn't he? We thought so too, but... You don't understand. All those years ago, he... It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he... Well... And we found your autopsy reports for George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Nope. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them. And we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a... a boy on my slab. On my slab. As I finished the autopsy, this man, Clive, he just burst in and he started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course I said no, but, well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. And Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment if I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, he'd beat me to within an inch of my life. I don't know why he had me do it, but my sister needed me. You have to understand, she needed me. We understand. I get it. I don't find her at fault. Speak for yourself, Peggy. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I just want this nightmare to end. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. <clears throat> so, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? Well, we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? I do. All right, but before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah, we need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway. Just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. Okay. I'll be careful. All right, calling her now. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. Jazz studio, jazz hands. Aha, Forrest, you're through. Hello, this is Sandra at Jazz Pizzazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, Sandra. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And you're live on air. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How jazzy. What can I do for you? How jazzy. Uh, well, <laughs> we're trying to understand what's behind the attacks tonight. We had a few questions. My forest, of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say 
yes to just about anything you asked. Really? Well, that sounds nice. I might just call you back tomorrow then, too. Oh, uh, you got my number. <laughs> but what about tonight? Is there anything you want to talk about right now? Remember why we called, Forrest. Of course. Thank you for the bits. You know why the Walk whistling him in. man might have targeted you? Ha! As far as I can tell. Fuck. <laughs> Fry. It's like the superhuman cardio. <laughs> He'd have chased after anybody. Right. Well, we think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Sandra, we know you found George's body. We have the police report. I... I don't know what you mean. It's okay, Sandra. We know. You do? You know about? Uh, yes. Of course. <sighs> this studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. Do you understand? Sure. I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet and everything would be okay. Of course. We understand. I mean, it's not like I killed him. What was the harm in saying I found him in the reservoir instead of the river? Right? Right? I'm sorry. I can't do this. And she's Fuck. gone. I don't think that could have gone any better. You truly did great, Forrest. Well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts on what's going on tonight, please call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just this second. Oh, shit. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Boris. I know this is real. Oh, out no. With everything happening tonight. It's the pizza guy again. And I wondered if you could send this special birthday message to my uncle. You know what? I'd welcome a change of pace. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Boris. He's my uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter. Peter Ronnie. Like God damn but it. Since he always had salt and pepper hair, even as a kid, can you believe it? Folks always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. Is there anything besides happy birthday? You'd like to say to Mr. Pepper? Oh my God! Damn it! Yes! Tell him he can get the best birthday deals and party packages here at Pony's Pizza. Start hanging, you, you son of a bitch! Stop calling us. <laughs> Sorry, Forrest. Let's just move on. We've I already knew got it. Another I knew it. <laughs> God, it's so funny. This is one eighty nine point sixteen. <laughs> Mr. Pepperoni. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. Caller. <sighs> Ponty. Ponty's pizza always delivers. She taught me to yodel, 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 diddly, yodel, loey, diddly, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly. She taught me to yodel, yodel, loey, diddly, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly. She taught me to yodel, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly. She taught me to yodel, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly. She taught me to yodel, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly. She taught me to yodel, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly, yodel, loey, diddly. She taught me to yodel yo. Thanks for that. Come on, we'll be there. <laughs> the whole time Forrest? he's the whistling man. Forrest, are you okay? <sighs> Forrest. All right, I calm hope down. The whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forrest. 
Sorry. I'm on the Sorry. air. That was that was too much. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Hopefully my mic wasn't on. Okay? Not for tonight anyway. I think he's spent for now. We've got another call. Whenever you're ready. Let's do it. Folks, don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16. I swear to fuck if it's him again. Me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say is calling? Well, hello again. Why can I Forrest? throw it? Don. Ah, uh, we go. I bet I know why you're calling. I'm sorry I didn't. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but please. Ah, uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling because I need your help. Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Do you mean... Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Helping? You didn't exactly help. Maybe I've been helping more than you know. I was out following a lead, trying to work out who would be next. After Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. Good. I need you to help me get inside. Oh my god. Someone in chat needs to scroll up on chat and find the old combinations. I didn't I don't have that thing with me. Fuck, I didn't bring it up with me. It's in the basement. Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't remember what the... Oh, thank you, you two rule. <laughs> don't you have a key to get in? Only for the apartment door. The front gate requires an entry code. The future is electronic, I guess. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? Maybe one of our listeners lives there, too. It's the new Woodside apartment <laughs> Town Hall and Trailer like Park. Prime piece of real estate. The sound really carries at night. <laughs> Shit. Town Hall and Trailer. Where's the Trailer Park? Uh, Town Hall. Right here. Oh, what's that apartments? Okay. Is that a neighbor's dog? Yes, it is. Boy, I wish he'd muscle that thing in. Oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. This night can't get any... It's coming down the street. I don't think he's seen me yet. Forrest, please. I need your help. I need the code for that security system, or I'm gonna die. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants nice. a six digit number. <sighs> we'll see what we can do. Thank you, Forrest. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. I'll sit out of sight. Call me back soon. All right, folks. Here's a little tune for you all to enjoy while I try to break Dawn into her apartment. You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forrest, was it just me or was oh, there something? Yeah, it, it... Eris! Hello, my friend. Welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Come on, show me a good clip. Where's the clip? There we go. Wow. Juggy, my boy. Hello, friend. Hello, hello. We we're playing Killer Frequency. We're having a lot of fun with this. A little too much fun, if you ask me. Plus, the jams are really good. Ugh. What were you playing this evening? Anything fun? It wasn't just you. Something was weird. And welcome that. in, everybody. Yeah. Well, tell you what. 
We have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at KFAM. Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can The red find zone is for help. immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. <laughs> there is no stopping in a white Welcome zone. Welcome in Sass, sorry no, for the TTS. The white zone is for loading. <laughs> now, there is no Monsters stopping in mortals. a red zone. The red zone has always been for loading. Don't you tell me which zone is for loading, and which zone is for unloading. Look Betty, don't start up with your white zone shit again. There's just no stopping in a white zone. Oh really, Vernon? Why pretend, we both know perfectly well what this is about. You want me. What the fuck was that TTS? <laughs> Welcome in Zaz. Welcome in Eris. Welcome in everybody. Hope you're having a lovely evening. Um, we are just playing some killer frequency. Uh, starting to get down to the nitty gritty of the story. It's been pretty good. Oh, it's airplane. Oh, okay. I just didn't catch it. I'm not sure who. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments. And somewhere, Clive probably has the papers for the Scarlet game. Is so, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? Nothing by way of key codes. I see. I have to go fucking get it and bring it back. It's not gonna let me. Any ideas, Peggy? Yeah, Dawn says she's stuck night, outside bitch. the Woodside Apartments <laughs> with the Thank whistling you for the man biddies. nearby. She's locked out because of some new security system. Yeah, seems good. Starling one seems 4, good. One seems good. Right. One seems good. And we had the same security good, system delivered good, here. One seems good. One Clive seems was going good, to install one. it. So, check the basement. I guess that's where Clive would have stuff like that. I had it in Thanks. my hand, and no I didn't problem. bring it upstairs. Don't take too long. Because it flashed me up here for whatever dumb reason. I had to go back in the fucking basement. This is bullshit. Bullshit. The boo indeed. Oh. All the way back down in here. Awful. Just gonna go for it. I think it was over here. Yeah, and then in here. And wait, but where would I have dropped it? Is it all the way back where I left it? I mean, where we originally got it? If so, that is Garbaggio, my friend. Oh, this is the dead end. Shit. So tell me about this game you guys were playing. Assassin Eris. Um, Eris had said the name, and I didn't. it didn't ring a bell with me. You, I passed it? No, it's right here, isn't it? Starling 4000. User manual. Ah, I don't remember these being in there. Codes should come in handy. I thought it was here. I guess not. All right. Well, fine. Let's uh, let's go out of the basement as fast as we can. Jeez. Come on! Oh. Fuck. God damn it, tree. It's like Pac-Man meets Mario Kart, but horror themed. That sounds fantastic. Tree Beard strikes again, that's true. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right as another noise was made too, that was like kinda creepy. Thanks. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's another record in the basement, but I just don't want it. I don't care. Shit's scary enough. <sighs> All right. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? The Starling 4000 security manual. It's got a bunch of codes. 
Good. And did you find anything else? Nothing except the manual. The best right. thing is in well, red. I'll get Dom back on the Please line. Please change these codes I'll immediately to prevent it. unwanted That's entry. Right. You know no one changed it. When you're ready, shut the music off. The base with this time of year, huh? For real. Line one. Whenever you're ready. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. Oh, thank God you're back. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the game? Hey, heading out to watch the movie, pal. Take care of them. They are good beans of mine. <laughs> of course. Thank you. And thank you for entrusting me yet again to have all the good beans in here. Hope you enjoy it. I, I, I don't know what movie you're watching, but I hope it's a good one. And I hope you enjoy it. So thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. Evil Dead Rise. Ooh, I enjoyed it. If you guys, if if you two haven't seen it yet, you're gonna like it. If you have seen it and you're watching it again, I'm assuming you liked it. So, <laughs> thank you both so much for for hanging. I appreciate you. All right, this deactivation code. Maintenance alarm test. Give entry code. There is no entry code. Oh no, there is an entry code, it's right there. We don't want to deactivate it. If we deactivate it, she may not reactivate it in time. We gotta give her the entry code. That's what she asked for. The code is 715-914. Thank you, Forrest. Forest, what did we do? Yeah, this is the night, bitch. She chuckled at the end. She's the fucking killer. Oh my god. Thank you for the biddies. Use it gonna die. Yep. I got to see it at the drive in and it was amazing, but Arison could see it yet. Oh, well, I'm sure Arison would enjoy it. Whoops. Maybe that wasn't. Forrest, there's another call oh, coming in. Fuck. Evening caller, you're live on. Oh, oh. Forrest, oh. the psycho's somewhere in the roller rink, dude. I just saw a shadow. It... God damn, how do you even get in? You've got to help me, man. I'm so Forrest. sorry, Ricky. No. Don't do that. <laughs> Oh no. Maxie! No, Maxie! <laughs> Maxie! <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong! <laughs> Maxie! <laughs> oh. Thanks again, Forrest. Oh, God, poor Ricky. Okay, Gallows Creek, here's some music while we process what just happened. So, the whistling man is a woman? I had my suspicions. Yeah, sure, Forrest. You just never mentioned it. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. I thought she was just regular Gallows Creek Strange. Fuck really, bullshit. Forrest? Why do you think she requested that song? To get me outside? Maybe, but how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. That's right. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Uh... Okay, you're live in three, two... Hey folks, this is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. 
We Why did they have to kill the, the dog? Is actually a woman. One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. <sighs> Where neighbors look out for each other and stay safe. I've said to say, but it's time to trust no one. I wouldn't say trust no one. If you know somebody, then you can trust them. We're neighbors. Look out for each other and stay safe. The killer was calling themselves Dawn. This could be a fake name. If anyone needs help or you have info on the killer, please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Uh, Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. Hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Please help me. My name is Casey Moore. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's, he's bleeding everywhere. I don't know what to do. Please help me. Where's Nancy Drive? Right there. Okay. Is he still breathing? He, yeah, but, but he's bleeding out fast. I really need help. Please. Take a breath. We've been out at the reservoir. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. It just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. And I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh, no. Forrest. Then what happened? Casey, was he talking to a woman? I don't know. They had a mask and wore all black. That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. So close to the radio station. They were gone. They yeah, it is. Somewhere in this area. Why didn't she make sure he was dead? I don't or know. through the alleyway. was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. Oh my god. You get all the info you can. Can you tell us where your friend was stabbed? They stabbed him in the stomach and then stabbed him again in his leg. I should ask for his fucking ground. name. It's... Oh, the knife is still there in his leg. What's your friend's name, Casey? It's Jason. Jason Parker. We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line two. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16. <clears throat> we have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. We need to see him, and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. Dude, someone needs to get right, there. Listen, we need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood first, and then finding someone to stabilize him. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Do either of you have any? No. Me neither. Uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. You think you can handle that? Ooh. Hit me. I'm sure we can handle it. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wounds. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, 
Don't take it out. It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. I wouldn't have thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, that was a lot of info. But I think we can so hard to not do keyboard cat. So far, there's more to go. <laughs> Thanks, Meg. <laughs> I'm still with you, Doc. What else do we need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. If he does, act fast. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply another on top of it. It's good to know. If it's safe. Elevate his legs to get blood circulating to his vital organs. Try to keep him warm. Get him to rest and reassure him. We need the patient to stay calm. <sighs> All right. Uh, don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Keep him warm and calm. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. Try to stop the bleeding. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. Good luck. All right, Forrest. Casey's still on line one. Fuck this. Hello? <coughs> oh, Forrest, are you there? I'm here. How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. I need help. I've been putting pressure on his stomach wound since you left. But he's still bleeding. Let's step a second. I don't know what to do. All right. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. Don't touch it. It's gotta be hell. Should I pull it out? Take the knife out. Don't touch the knife. No, don't touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Are you sure? I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop making suggestions. Good idea. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through this. Casey, is his leg wound bleeding right now? I hate looking at that knife. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. Yep. <sighs> Fuck. She said to secure it if you can. But, I mean, it's not bleeding as much as the stomach. So let's leave it alone for now. Alright. I, I think we need to leave that knife alone. Alright. I'll just keep putting pressure on his stomach for now. Forrest, can I have a word? Casey, I'm gonna have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is under control. You're doing great. But what if something happens? We'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything and we'll be there. I promise. Okay. I'll wait. Jason, please be okay. Come on, come on. What do you want to say? What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. Dawn is still out there. What if other people need us? You're right. Yo, shoes. What's up, man? This is good. Right it's fun. Exactly. And you heard the nurse. We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Worst first date ever. She said there was a car there. I know she doesn't know how to drive, but we may not have a choice. Forrest, that's a terrible Yo, idea. Spacey, welcome in. Mind, Enjoying this Jason, one. She might get herself For or sure. someone else killed. The music alone is great. I suppose you have any ideas then? I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a producer getaway. You skipped it, didn't you? I never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. how does KFAM's first aid course I had it described to me, but Casey I haven't seen anything. Casey said there are 25 Nancy Drive, right? Ah, uh, yeah. I just said if I want to get it or not. They a bunch of cheap houses around there I was lucky enough to get a key uh, from so a rank one for no reason. I didn't ask for it, and I'm very glad I got it. Casey it's been very fun. Probably, but I don't know who lives there. And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I don't know everybody's numbers. Killing me, I've Peggy. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Got it. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. It's a life or death situation. I'm sure they won't mind. Right. But there are a couple of problems with that. Go on. It's sensitive information. So Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Oh, for fuck's Great. sakes. Great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. 
Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Right. There is something else. Yeah, the person I'm bleeding out. <laughs> Have you ever heard the future is floppy? Peggy, what the hell are you oh, talking no. about? Oh no. I'm talking about floppy disks. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things <laughs> that have information on them. You put them in a computer and they do something. <laughs> Peggy, I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided Some people that this the game may not. <laughs> floppy and started phasing out our physical records and replacing them with these floppy disks. I imagine it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office. Yeah, I'm sure. I can find. You'll need to keep that. <clears throat> I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. I just have to look around. Just slide in my DMs after this, okay? Thank you. Good. I'll patch oh, hey. my mic down to the office so you'll hear me over the intercom. Put on some music while we wait. Everyone's like, so, how's everyone doing? Master of Unlock, unlock all doors in the station? That's not opening. Where's Reggie's office? It's a bathroom, bathroom, stairs. There's already open. No other doors down that way, okay. So it might just be downstairs. Reggie's office, yeah, it could be back here behind the main area that actually tracks. What about those two places? Ah, uh, that's it. Another map here. Okay. Certificate is certified that Reginald Scott has actually cleared this to end the course and first aid to the injured. It's a date that could potentially be helpful. That's the only thing I see up there. I want to believe. <laughs> hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? I can't figure out how to get into this stupid safe. No worries. We still have a little time. Reggie writes almost everything down somewhere. I'd recommend you start reading. I'll have a look around. You're probably right. I'll let you know when I find something, or don't. Could this be it? I, hey, I can't... How do I get the thing off the screen? There we go. Deep cuts, top secret. Pizza delivery killer who kills with a pizza cutter. Free slice on me. Terrifying there is never any pizza. What happened to the original delivery guy? Maybe write him in as the final girl's boyfriend? Protagonist is college student Megan's surname to follow. She's smart, beautiful, resourceful, and lactose intolerant. Amplifies the divide between her and the pizza cutter. Pizza killer. <laughs> Takes place on... Uh, November 7th, very important date for the town. Great goose gathering. Even where a large number of geese appear suddenly and save the town from starvation. Trying to listen to the greater story. Need to kill off Megan's support network throughout the movie, like Acts 3, but even scarier. Maybe partner with Pawnee's Pizza for the launch. Uh, one out of ten orders just receive a pizza cutter and tickets to the movie. Okay, it's interesting. I don't think that's helpful. Cloud, if you're reading this, stop stealing my post-it notes. Best boss. Oh, wait, hold up. I should be doing a full review of everything here. In case you read something on the back. Ask Genie where these tapes are. It's been weeks now overdue. Chalupacabras. He got two sodas, nachos, two chalupas, churro, salsa dip, and tomato salsa. Mm. Hope it was good, you son of a bitch. It's all about the he said, she said, babe. Oh my god. Vertigo Weekly died alone. Wow. Right. Megabyte, the future is now. Our special report features the first hands-on reviews, the stories behind the machines, and what the new technology means to you. Plus, Tom Croshaw and the fate of last year's models. Advanced technology, computer-generated imagery, replacing animation? New software makes the most of your spreadsheets. The future is floppy. This is January of 1987. 
Okay. It looks like I need a four-digit code. Axe forever. Need to write pitch document. Good title. Bring back original pro tag and villain. Axe forever. <laughs> It's a four-digit code. Hint, very important date. Oh, well, he said that over here. Very important date. 1107. Yeah, 1107. Nice. God damn, I'm good. You know we're gonna read her fucking file. Hey, Peggy. I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Maybe don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a while. <laughs> Why are you reading my file? You Candy! Candy. Spreadsheets? You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on positive. <laughs> I've never seen parents. somebody gel with everybody as quickly as Peggy has. Her, Karen, and Barbara have really become a little family already. Maybe we need to run the station on girl power. Hopefully, it's cheaper than electric. Sometimes I wonder if Peggy secretly wants her own show. She hasn't been shy about getting involved in the calls on the screen. Sometimes it feels as though Forrest could just leave for a coffee mid call and nobody would know. Peggy and Karen have missed another work event, this time first aid training. Because of their training sessions, the collection of cocktail parasols grows after each session. Why are they doing training session at a bar? <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, who's this? Bradley Carter. Let's check him. Spreadsheets is twice magic word. It's true. Was that in the game? Bradley Carter, food critic. When I hired Brad as our station's food critic, people said I was crazy. We only have three takeout places in a diner. What's the point? So then I say, you can't be afraid to explore the darkest reaches of the unknown, or Henderson. <laughs> Bradley and Barbara seem to be spending an awful lot of time together. I don't realize she was so interested in Brad's work. Maybe I should join one of their after work. <sighs> <laughs> After work meeting sometime, I've always wanted to learn more about food. Oh my god. Are you finishing this tonight? I'm going to try. Brad and Barbara ended up missing most of our first aid training session. Brad made a joke about practicing mouth to mouth, and Barbara got really upset and stormed off. The joke wasn't that bad. Oh my god. Anyways, Candy, how are you tonight? Or today for you? Let's go to the next one. Barbara. Almost done if I recall correctly. I napped for 12 hours? Damn, that's not a nap. You went to sleep. <laughs> Receptionist. Barbara's really getting on well with all the staff here. Everybody gave her great feedback at our last review. I get the feeling there's something going on with her and Brad. Call it a hunch. Barbara got another cat recently. She must have at least five now. Daisy, Murphy, Penelope, Freddie, and Lord Winston. I'll need to monitor productivity going forward. The cat photos are a big distraction for the rest of the team. Or a big distraction. Oh. Barbara laughed when I told her about the concept for my new horror script. I don't care what she thinks. A story about an alien egg at the center of the Earth set to hatch on February 30th is a great idea. Why else would we avoid having a February 30th? <laughs> my fucking God. <laughs> oh, I'm crying out loud. Meg. Cats. <laughs> That's a full sleep. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Alright, let's try Karen. Senior producer. Karen has really stepped up her duties in recent months. She was fully taken on... Hamish's show alongside the Timberline twins ever since Wes left us. Hopefully she doesn't get any ideas about being paid double. Wow. Karen has started mentoring Peggy. I think this will be really good for Peggy. They're even doing team building training getaways to improve efficiencies. Oh god. 
Update, I'm starting to suspect that these producer training giveaways are being strategically timed. They've now both missed Secret Santa, First Aid Training, and a Teddy Gallows Jr. station visit. Oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Alright, let's just read my file, fuck it. See what this dickhead has to say about us. Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. You're right, I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. <laughs> I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. Wow. I can't believe we actually got the Forest Nash here in Gallows Creek. His motivation may be low, his demands are a bit beyond our means, and he's currently blacklisted from any reputable station, but honestly, we don't have a reputation to lose. Forest isn't really integrating with the team. Seems to have this lone wolf thing going on. Heard him call Jeannie, Janie, Janine, and Brenda in his first week. Hope this changes when he gets settled. I've paired Forrest with Peggy for his show. They seem to have developed a relationship of sorts pretty quickly, which is good because we sure don't have the show budget to pair him with Karen. Ain't that the truth. Alright. Last one is John. Edges, I think. He's the newsreader. John refused to engage with the first aid trainer during the course. I know he was a war medic, but it was station policy to send everybody regardless. John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he procured from the military at the end of his service. Is that legal? Do we need to report him? Spoke to John again about eating the free samples that Brad gets sent for his reviews. He said he'd stop, but he said it the last three times, too. Is it un-American to reprimand a war vet? Oh, my God. There's no more over there, is there? No, that's it. All right, let's uh hit the button. Hey, Peggy, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Did you find what we need? They're gonna know who to call. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. All right, good work. Who should I? Hello. Is John Hedges. Calm the fuck Please down. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Going in shock. What's happening? What do I do? God, it sounds like he's going into shock. Casey, just stay calm. It's going to be okay. But the police seem to slow down. Did I mess up? Jason, I'm sorry. Casey, calm, calm down. down. You've done everything right. I I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. What did the nurse say to do about shock? We elevate the wounds, right? To get the blood to flow back. So it wouldn't just be his legs. She said elevate the wounds. She specifically said wounds. Casey, I need you to prop Jason up. We need to raise his wounds. Both of his wounds? You want me to fold him up like an accordion? Did the nurse really tell you that? That doesn't sound right, Forrest. Really what? Be careful. If we get anything wrong now, then I'm looking at my notes. She said she I said wounds in this speech. As comfortable as possible. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah. I still have some laundry next to me. I'll wrap them in some blankets. Just give me a second. Mm, uh, uh, sorry. Sorry. To get the blood back to his organs. Yeah, exactly. This is all looking good. Yeah, this is looking like, bitch. Jason is Don't going die. to be fine. Thanks, Ash. <laughs> Just make sure he knows he's going to be okay. Okay? Okay. But please, I can't give him what he needs. Please, help. <laughs> I can't lose him. All right, Forrest, we need to hurry. Jason doesn't sound like he's doing too well. You said you knew who to call earlier. Who was it? Uh, this jabron. Where the fuck? Where'd it go? Oh yeah, it's John. John Hedges. 
We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and according to Reggie's notes, John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, five four two zero seven three five. Calling now. Let's hope he picks. Uh, who the hell is this calling me? At? What time is it? Yeah, a little after John, three. It's Forrest Nash here at KFAM. We have an emergency and we need your help. Forrest, if this is a work emergency, then it can wait until the goddamn morning. Just leave me a note like everybody else. John, no, this is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or never mind. He, he's badly hurt, and he's going to die unless we get someone to him now. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I, I haven't been called on for over 10 years. Where's the patient? What's his condition? He's at 25 Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach, and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg, and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies, and I'll head right over. Damned if he dies on my watch. Yeah. Hey John. John's a fucking chad. What a badass. Uh, are you there? How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak and then just started thrashing. What about now? Meet Mo. I leave for my trip soon, so I'll be popping in and out today. Oh, thank you, Ash. Appreciate that. Casey, help is on the way. Just happy to be able to come and say hi. Someone and I am coming. I'll call you back later. I have to go now. Good luck, everyone. Jesus. God, I hope he's going to be all right. And with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. All right. I well, saved somebody. All that excitement. I think we could oh. use some music. Uh, come back upstairs when you're ready. I think I'm good to go. There's nothing else really in here from what I've noticed. Nothing of concern. Not going to the basement. Oh. God, this job is difficult. break for the night so try to enjoy it give me a buzz when you want to go back on air Let's roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Time to turn the music off. Oh, we have another call coming in. But hang on. What's up, Peggy? 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 <laughs> You're going to want to take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. 
It's quote unquote right, done. Folks, it's time for another track. Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after this. No, I'll introduce the song. Uh, I hope this is good news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Oh, Sounds shit. Like it's been a busy night, huh? It's a 911 dispatcher. It's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you, too. I... Wait, Sara? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Uh, anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. Oh, good. The deputies are okay, to too. haven't been able to get through until now. It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. <laughs> you bet. I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows Creek as we speak. Turns out somebody had cut the phone line. They had no idea what was happening. Wow. That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The whistling man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in, so once her location is known, We'll head straight there and end this nightmare. All right. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. That'd be preferable, thank you. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. I hope you're right. The sooner this is over, the better. I am right. Trust me. Anyway, we should get you back on air. Taking callers is the only way to see this through. True that. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Bringing you back live now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say, things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Why would he fucking say that? Just stay quiet, don't... Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Forrest? Casey, is that you? Are you alright? Forrest, it's Jason. What about Jason? Is he okay? He, he's gone. Oh, oh fuck. Jason. Your friend. They tried everything they could. They said he just lost too much blood. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. Casey, I'm... I'm so sorry. I can't believe he's gone. Could I have done more? He did everything he could have done. Well, we had it. Well, both we did we, the best thing we could have done. So I sure guess he Jason was going that. to die regardless. You, I really hope so. Hey guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. It's all right, Peggy. I understand. Do what you need to do. Thank you, Casey. I'll be right back. Uh, Forrest. Yes, Casey. Before Jason passed out, I. I asked him who did this, and I think he knew who attacked him. Are you serious? Yeah. He said it had to do with a boy named George Barrow? He mentioned him, the boy who drowned. I guess I... That's what Jason said. 
He said that George died during God, what was it? Whistling night. Whistling Some night. Kind of Casey, are you absolutely sure this is what Jason said? Yeah, I think so. Jason still seemed with it when he was telling me. So I don't doubt what he said. Did you say Jason told you who the whistling man is? He did. He said it was a woman. They went to school together. Somebody called me. What? Whoa. What happened? Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Seems like the power is completely... Oh my god, it's right How as I scored a basket too. Wasted too much time for Sug now, Jason. Damn, you're probably right, Tree. Emergency Tree. broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack, broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Fair point! It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. I know exactly where it is. Yep. This whole time I've had good music in almost every room until the basement and lights. Oh. Take a knife. Uh, yeah, okay. You see one somewhere? Yeah, I'll bring a fucking mug and just throw it. <laughs> just fuck you. Oh, uh, it's like emergency lighting on. Okay. Fuck. I don't like this. Yeah, neither do I. Person's name starts with M. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? That's what she said. It's, through, it's over through here. Right there. That must be it. Boom! We've got power. Let there be light. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. There's an intercom back in that office. Wait, no! I walked past it. Peggy, are you there? Are you... Peggy! I need to get back upstairs. Fuck. What the hell? The fuck was that? I don't know what the hell that noise was. Just saved. Fuck. Oh no. Peggy, where'd you go? Oh shit. No way. This can't be happening. A call. Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. Got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. 
What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well, I'm gonna keep her here. I thought we'd end tonight's whistling man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Well, let me take that out of your mouth and you crazy bitch. Let me go. Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows Jr. Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But even if he crawled out of his coffin with all the money in the world. Wait, where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well... He knows oh my it. god, it's It's Peggy. Wait, then... That's Peggy and Who Karen is the is Don. Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek to my boy. Oh Maybe not. Son? You mean you Wait that that he Yes, Forrest. Two whistling of course, that explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. Hang on, did you say barrel? That are you? Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. George's old girl. Oh, well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Marie Campbell. So, not Don, huh? No, not Don. What are you going to... Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that <laughs> night. This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Why should I help you? Why, why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. These people, these people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... <laughs> God. Teddy, I keep said your mouth shut. Speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago, and that's why I want you to interview us. If you say so. I wanted to stab Teddy so I'm badly. <laughs> to argue. I'm happy we have your cooperation. That makes two of us. Do a good job, and hell, you might be the only to leave here alive. I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek and hopefully this is internal monologue where Marie is, <laughs> then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just uh talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Hit, hit him, Marie. <laughs> or Mary. <laughs> yeah. All right. Be honest, or do you want to die? Be, uh, we, want him to, we want him to fight back, so I had to be nice to him. Teddy, be honest with me, or we're both going to die. Honest? Forrest? I'm trapped here with a psycho. <coughs> what the hell? God damn it. 
Okay. Our first team party was coming up. And when I saw the date it was scheduled for, I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Night Mooney vanished. Whistling that right, or tell me why that night. Tell me why. Yeah, I don't want to guess because that's a yes. Those are yes or no answers. We want to be open ended. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it up. I was just surprised. No one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? I. Uh. Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God, who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. I saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man, <laughs> screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. Wait, Ricky was there? Roller Ricky? He was. And he was in on the whole thing. Yeesh. How did you know Again, Ricky was in on it? Open ended. Say more. Say more. For a second, then Ricky didn't know the plan. I never told. Damn, damn it. If Ricky had told us, if he just told us, he and George would both be alive still. Hmm. Well, if Ricky weren't dead, we could have heard his side of the story. It was just a stupid prank. How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on! I... Oh, God damn it! You made George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so tonight you stabbed him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. If I'd saved Jason, maybe I could have derailed her for a bit. Enough Yikes. Me and George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point, and when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me, I scream, and he starts laughing, telling me it's, it's just a joke. I could stall for time here. How did you feel? How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. It was small. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her. What happened next? Tell me what happened next. I suddenly recognized it was Chuck. Chuck Brody it was the whistling man. Laughing away. Chuck Brody? That's the one that got hurt. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just... Teddy! George fell off Whistling Point. Why'd he fall? Why'd he fall, Teddy? He just... You pushed him. You were up there. Dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains, he would have realized. <sighs> yeah, that's not the right call. Bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all, you did. Mm. 
Even if you didn't push him, you still chased him to his death. I can't be blamed for someone not getting a choke. I think Marie would disagree. <laughs> but if you really felt that way, why the cover up? My future was at stake, Ash. You know what it's like. People like us are bragging Yikes. bigger things. I'm going to be the mayor of this town, of course. And then governor. And I don't then, think so. Who knows? What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. Oh, he's Brock Turner. So my father <laughs> sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? Oh. George was a blip? He wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night. Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. I'd answer the question if I were you, Teddy. Yes! Okay, we own the most of the town. That's it then. Your father was going to run her out of business unless she lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... Even still. She should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper. But no, that coward killed the story. But Maurice Russell is dead now. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. Boom. Where he joined your football team. It was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Where are you going? Where would he have been? Where would he have been? His first shot? Sunk his first shot. I must have missed the detail. I mean, this fucker started moving too, so it got me. What did she say? She said before football. Okay, I thought I, I thought I heard football. She said shot. You don't take shots in football. You're at the football field. Jesus Christ, Forrest, you idiot! We're in the chip. Thanks, guys. Gallows Creek High. I told you not to do that. Wait. <laughs> He's dead too now. Well, you guys. <laughs> God damn it. Isn't Just it? take the fall yes. for once, please. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Oh no. Peggy! Teddy! Peggy. It's been 
so long since I've seen your face. You're yeah, wrong to say I wasn't listening. And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. Oh, fuck. Will someone please explain to me what's happening? When I explain, Peggy. Earlier, while you were speaking to Casey, I got a call. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out. That my sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or oh, God. come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for Keep you. them talking. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They don't want to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been with George. And... and uh, Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. It's not your fault. Really, it's Mom and Dad I should be seeing right now. But since they're dead and gone, well... I'll have to settle for the next best thing. Oh, what the fuck, Marie? I... Wait. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze? Uh, Eugene Stein? Because his parents? That's right. Wow. Eugene's parents were there that night, too. But they got themselves killed in a bus accident. It's up on the wall over there. And since only their child was left. Marie, please. Mom and Dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. You forgot. Is there any way I can prove Peggy didn't forget Marie? There's something around here, right? Fucking drop it. It hurt to be forgotten. I never forgot you. I can't well, read that. No one's gonna forget now. No. Peggy, no. No, the <sighs> I just found it. That sucks. I looked in every corner. I didn't know if there'd be a note on there about her or something. Well, this sucks. Remember the time thing we were talking about? Yeah, I was trying to eat as much time as I could up. There was nothing I could say there to keep her talking. I had to go find something, and I found it too late. Henry, fuck. You don't have to do this. There's still time to make the right decision. Marie. God. Bolted right as we got here. Fuck. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. That's over, Forrest. You really are the lone wolf, yeah. Oh shit. Why would the card be in that weird spot? Forrest Nash survived. Reached the end of Whistling Night. The end. Oh. 
Oh, it's an epilogue? Alright, we'll wait. Alright, alright. I did. Three, four, five, six. Only seven died. I saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Goddamn, Peggy didn't make it. Oh, Peggy, I'm sorry. Your Cynthia's a psycho, and I survived. <laughs> Roller Ricky. The maze boy I murdered immediately. <laughs> yeah, who's the... That's Murphy, right? No. I, man, maybe it was Murphy. Murphy or Chuck? Hey, Hot Dave lived. <laughs> yes. Hot Dave. He's lived. And Chad, of course, lived. Heather, Martinez, Virginia, Sandra, Seth, Lisa, Eugene, Kyle, Jennifer, Scott, Cynthia, Tammy, and Forrest. Main maze was Eugene. Oh, I thought he died. Oh, that's right. We did it. Yeah, he's the nerdy kid. We did save him. Oh, she's going to jump, isn't she? Hot Dave lived up to expectations. <laughs> uh. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I'm gonna check. Collect all hidden records. Play all records during the course of the night. I definitely did that. Uh, save all Whistling Man targets. Play all radio ads during the course of the night. I thought I did that too. Fishing game in under four hours with all callers surviving. Oof. And then nobody survives Whistling Man killer frequency. And there's eight other hidden achievements. <laughs> nope. She went down just like Greg did. Peggy died for your sins. Peggy died for her parents' sins. I feel like they could have dropped a couple of more jump scares in there. Like when you had to go retrieve the record from outside and in the basement. Oh, yeah. I found the birthday card, but Peggy still died, so I'm not sure if there was a way to save her. That's weird. Well, shit. <laughs> Did I get any fun achievements? Dead air. Don't respond when prompted for 30 seconds. 80% of people got that. Debbie Martinez surviving. 75% of people got that. Sandra Sharp surviving. 76% of people got that. Play a sound on the soundboard during a call. 79.8% just shy of 80. Virginia surviving. 59%. <laughs> you gotta be quicker than that, buddy. Fuck. I don't know, there was more after the credits you could have listened to. I was just sitting there and it just like exited me out. I didn't do anything. 
Eugene Stein survived 54%. All teens except Jimmy survived their whistling man 33%. Nice. Uh, getting access to the station after being locked out, 53%. From beyond the grave, 50%, which that's uncovered Clive's research. Unlock all doors, 47%. Restore power, 45 Forest Nash, Forest Nash surviving 44%. The end, reached the end of the game, 45.3. Oh, so I was the 46% of Eugene dying. <laughs> and I don't know what the... The hidden achievements must be uh, the other... Well, I thought there was only seven people that died. Hmm. Whatever. Anywho. What's next? I think we've already heard this song tonight. Let's see, 118. We got time for something. Nothing too crazy, though. Um, but yeah, Killer Frequency, great game. I enjoyed it. I sucked at it. Um, but I hit an achievement, saved George from dying. That, <laughs> that'd be something. Um, I don't know, there's definitely definitely a lot of attention to detail. Good uh good detective work to get done in that game. Um Yeah. I like how there was different ways for that game to go. Maybe not <clears throat> I mean, it sounds like you can't save Peggy. Um Unless of course you had to find the card then like put it up against the window or something. I don't know. The bitch, bitch has, has arrived. Has now bow to me. <laughs> now bow to me. Creepy, what's up? Welcome in, friend. <clears throat> you know what? Why don't we uh wait to say Peggy is to just lock her in the room and not leave her not let her leave? How do you get her to stay there? I thought the door was already locked. There's achievement for saving all people. Of course you can save her. I don't know. From what Candy's saying, you could lock her in the room. But the door's already locked. Like, I don't... Do I have to drag a couch in front of it or something? I don't know. Lock the door with the sofa? Okay. I don't know who would have fucking thought of that. And Scaredy says it's the card. I don't know which one it is. But either way, why don't we uh why don't we chill out the rest of the night with some vampire survivors? I got uh the second DLC work to get done. I chose the I chose the card though, but she still died. She must hate me. No, I mean maybe you had to like pick up the card and then there was like an option to talk into the mic or something like that. But I don't know. Hand to bed. That was a cool game. Thank you, Fry. Appreciate you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I uh, hope you have a great night's sleep. Right after you say school gym, pick up the birthday card. It's a timing thing, like we don't find it in time or something because it worked for me. Yeah, maybe Candy found it like a second too late or something. Interesting. Jack, have you heard the Bong Chong Dong story? No, no, oh my god. You're gonna tell me about it. This will save Peggy and Forrest. My assumption is the only way Forrest dies is if most other people die. Cause he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to make any uh he wouldn't be able to basically spread like stretch that time out and the cops don't get there until it's too late. That's my assumption. Yeah, let me get this uh vampire survivors bopping. Trust me, it's not what you think, but it's short and interesting. Go for it. I'm listening. So you said football fields, you couldn't save Peggy. 
Yeah, if I had done that, it would have saved um, Teddy. And who knows if they ever, if she even goes to talk to Peggy at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, doing seeing before football, I get that it could it could have been in the gym, but before football, it could have been at the fucking gas station getting a you know a a sports drink or something. Could have been anywhere. I don't know. I wasn't too big on that. Yeah, they said shoot. Oh, well, okay, shooting hoops. That's true. It's true. Yeah, she said she's, he's shot, got his first shot. So, yeah, I guess that would have worked. Yeah, but she didn't say shooting hoops in the game. She said made his first shot, which... Uh, yeah, I mean, I get it now, but... Did I figure out the gas station one? No, it fucking blew up. I was stuck between the hospital and somewhere else, and it wasn't the gas station. Sank his first shot, yeah. So, like, going back and thinking about it now, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Lady in Red, welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Jamie Jam, thank you for that fucking sub, my dude. Hope you're doing well. Hope the subathon's going well. All right, real quick. I don't think I'm. Yeah, I'm not feeling this track as much as I like both those bands separately. Hey, future save everyone or everyone dies runs. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Could you up from a long ass nap? Nice. I think I'd be able to save everyone. I think it'd be a better choice. Getting tr trying to get everybody killed. I feel like is the easier way. Why is that still there? It's fucking... There we go. I said to do that. Okay. Uh, so I have some unlocks I have to get. Not that many, which is great, but... Um... So with Maruto, I have to break the seal of the abyss. With Eleanor, I have to break the seal of the banished. Um, that's like that secret map I got. Survive 15 minutes with Luminaire Foscari. Survive 15 minutes with Genevieve Grier. <laughs> Grier. Evolve the Shadow Servant. Defeat 100,000 enemies in a single run with Genevieve Grier. Defeat a total of 6,000 rotting ghouls. And defeat Genevieve in Abyss Foscari. I think all of these are in Foscari. This unlocks Luminaire. Unlock Genevieve. And that. Yeah, so we can't. We can't do those until we do these. Shadow Servant. Those exist. We can't do this one because uh, we don't have her unlocked yet. Defeat a total of 6,000 rotting ghouls. And then you fight this last dude off by doing these first two things. So I think we have to do Seal of the Abyss. Maruto. Oh, Maruto. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember now. There are four different endings for killer frequency. Wow. That's actually a lot more than I thought. All right, and while we're doing this, I'm going to, um, I'm pulling up the wiki because I love cheating in this game. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to check out the map. So Abyss Fiskari is where we need to go. The map has a red crystal seal of the abyss that has to be destroyed by Maruto cuts and his evolved base weapon. It opens up the section of the map that is covered in darkness. After destroying the red crystal, a blue crystal seal of the banish is unlocked as the darkness recedes. It has to be destroyed by Eleanor uh, Uzeron and her united base weapon. Destroying the blue crystal unlocks the Janie Viv boss fight. Okay, that makes sense. 
So we gotta do Maruto. We gotta get his shit upgraded. The question is, do we get to... Oh, we do get to start there. I didn't know if we had to go to Lake Fiskari and take, like, the portal. And I'm like, but that had to be Keith to do that. So doing that just unlocked Abyss Fiskari. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to keep Endless on just because I like to make sure I get stuff done. <laughs> but once it's done, we can also kill it off pretty quickly. Um... Let's see. Where's the sword at for any of these? A big ass fucking sword. Right there in beginning. Let's do it. Anything here I want? No. All right. Uh Ooh, I do like Summon the Knight. That is pretty good. Let me see what I need to... Oh, shit. I should have got the fucking other thing. Damn, I fucked up. I forgot how much stuff is down here. So for the Grimora... Oh, it's a duplicator. Okay, that's right. And we need um, armor. Fuck. Dude, there's so many of them. Fuck. Uh, Silver one's been pretty decent to me once I when I've used it. Fuck. It's so weird how they move so slowly, and I can't like get around them as easy. Right, I need the armor, so I'm gonna get that now. All right, get back up there. Yeah. All right. I feel like I need a King Bible assistance. Need some defense here. <laughs> oh my God, those fucking things came flying in out of nowhere. Ultimate combo. I call it Rings of Saturn. <laughs> yeah, I've only listened to like, well, like consistently listened to like one of their albums. It had a really funny title, uh, but I liked it. It was good. I've never seen them live, but of course everyone's like, oh, yeah, they're cheating. They don't actually play that stuff live. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's it's art. Like, it's not that big of a deal if they don't actually play it. I guess just by the time I found them, I was kind of like, kind of over the subgenre as a whole. And I was ready to just, you know, I was kind of moving into, I think I was really getting into doom metal at that time. Silver One and King Bible. Oh, I know what you mean now. I didn't mean in a band sort of way. When you max out both, they look like the planet Saturn. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> God. I'm I'm the best. <laughs> um fun times, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with garlic. Could we have some health there? Oh, that's helpful. Thank you. As much as this as I can. I just want to hit the next level before I hit that treasure. Okay. Yep. Go, 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 go. What is it? Ah, uh, that'll help be helpful for this moment in time. Oh, it's a green one. Another green one. All right, cool, cool, cool. Summon the night again, please.
Okay. Got it. I think I have to fully max out armor as well for that thing to actually upgrade. What the world is this? Oh, another bale of man. Oh, God. That did not look good. What? Okay, that makes more sense. I'm like, did they turn into fucking nine inch nails? What the fuck? Uh, nope, I'm good. Bye. What the fuck was that? I was going to say, this sound... Yep, okay. Oh, fuck. Fuck, please kill. Okay, thank you. Oh, boy. Uh, I might as well get a lightning ring because I'm going to get the uh, duplicator. Or I'm supposed to get the duplicator. Oop. We know they're level up before I grab that. Uh, good. I should have done armor. Maybe I'll just give me one now. Nope. <laughs> also, that's helpful, though. I'll take one more projectile. Chug, 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 chug. Uh, man. Dude's getting ranked up real quick. I love that. Like, that power up, it gets halfway through. The random, like, huge... Yeah, those... Like, I take this sword and just swing it at the ground. Very sexy. Oh! Oh, perfect. Hello. All right. That's the best shot I have there. All right, that was good. Good old chunk of upgrades, right? Well, not upgrade, but progress. Ow. Ooh, whoops. Alright, we'll finish this one first. What's the oh the flash arrow? That's uh Keith is weapon there. Fucking kill all these fucking things. Fucking <laughs> dun 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 A very definitive dun dun duns Oh 
Oh, hello. Good, we can finish summon night. Make sure those are done. Yeah, both of those are done. I need two more armor upgrades. I need duplicator. I need that's the uh I can't have the name of it, but I, when I see it, I'm like, yeah, I know what it is. I can also get the rune if I want to do that. And I need the heart. For that to get up to speed as well. Ow. I don't know if I want to pick that up yet. Where on the map is the... Uh, oh, God. Everything's way down there. Fuck. Ah, shit. Shit. All right, uh, Silver Wind update. Need the Attract Orb. Yeah, that'd be helpful, wouldn't it? Two chests now. Oh, good. Get some healing back. I do want tab jokes and go sort of some book inventory. Ooh, have fun, Candy. I hope you find some books that you may not have read and it'll excite you to read them. Or at least feel better that you've not organized stuff. Either way. I don't want to use garlic on that last one, even though I know I can evolve it. I have three shelves of unread books. Jesus Christ. All right, never mind. You're good. Damn, these fucking snakes. Fuck. Fucked for life. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I'm so glad I didn't put the Twitch integration on. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> oh my god. Phasmophobia fan fiction? Oh god. That'd be something. Eh! All right, uh, another silver wind. How are we looking on here? Right, it's gonna get his fucking pickup. Or one more armor. Oops, fuck. <laughs> oh, actually, it's not too bad. That worked out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, see, I would struggle on whether to help you or hinder you. Yeah, shucks. Here we go. No, oh, no, I forgot those are my guys. I was like, what the fuck is that? Oh, fuck. 
Oh, that saved me. I don't need any of those. Let me reroll. Silver winds. Uh, big bitch. Oh no! Oh, oh, ah! <clears throat> oh, sleep token, of course. I'm like, this sounds like a Wheeler band. Nailed it. Oh, oh. oh, yes, please. Uh, there's Mad Groove. Hell yeah, let's do it, baby. Oh, there's Rune Tracer. Perfect. Go. <laughs> Finish up Silver Wind, so that'd be good. All right, so I'm full on weapons. More. I guess I'll get this last one. We can get here. Uh, critical damage on my main weapon would be pretty sick. Yeah, let's go with it. Okay, it's a family friendly stream. I really just choose Hinder. Oh, God. <laughs> Reroll? Why? Uh, uh, again. Last one. Oh, Twilight Requiem? Yeah, I've used this one before. It has two things. It has that one. It's going to have this. It's going to have this and that. And if um, I'm going to pick up the this guy too. So <laughs> with the book. So I didn't know this was a Christian Minecraft server stream. You didn't know? that all right what here is a weapon all right i'll grab the orb prismatic missile excuse me Yes, yes, and or duh, you can do whatever now. You're set for the rest of the run. Mo, thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate you. How are you doing today? We're just having some fun. Blowing shit up over here. I still haven't found the duplicator yet. Oops, just walked right into that, even though it was there. That's fun. Oh, fuck. We're just sitting on a fucking boss. Rice. Feeling all right? Just played a bunch of Dragon Age. Nice. Taking a break. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're taking a break. Chilling with us. So there's Duplicator. Uh, we'll finish up. Well, not finish up. We have King Bible. Boom. That's helpful.
Uh, let's finish up Duplicator. Alright, so... Okay, I do need that. I also need the, um... I think the crown is up there. Oh, God. What is this madness up here? Alright, level 7 King Bible. Very helpful right now. Alright, let's keep going the Prismatic Missile. Let's finish up King Bible. Oh, yeah. Just pouring those gems in. Oh, I need Spellbinder. Fuck yeah. Alright, what's gonna come next? Uh, alright. Prismatic Missile. Uh, again. Uh, should I? I don't know if the crown was up there. See, I can't look at the map from here. Fuck. Alright, I'm just gonna grab the missile. Again. Okay. Rune Tracer. There's a crown up here. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get it. Uh, Rune Tracer looks fine to me. Uh, I need to find a... I need to clear out a better spot down here. Okay. His mad groove's about to move everything right in front of me now. Perfect. Alright. Let's do that. Again. Again. So we do spellbinder. Rune tracer. Okay. We still have one empty spot. Let me check my uh, grimoire. Ain't getting the ball bag today. Yeah, I don't think I... Get anything else that's helpful here. Wait, what's the... Oh, that's the heart. Right, right, right. Okay. Crown. Yeah, I do need the crown. But I was thinking of what else I could have, because I have one slot left without picking this up. I could just pick it up and be done with it, but... I just like to use the extra slots if I can. Uh, uh, spinach or candelabra? Yeah. Yeah, I guess because they're not there. Yeah, spinach would be a good pickup if I get it. This album is so fucking good. Alright, let's see. Fuck. Alright, well, at least the Pumarola is done. So many chests. Alright. Uh, we'll just do Candle Labrador. Actually, wait, I have rerolls. What am I doing? I'll find it that way. Hopefully. 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 God damn it. I have one left. Chickening out. Gauntlet. Oh, I, you know what? I think I saw a gauntlet too. Fuck. That would have been a decent one. Come on, baby. Give me that good juice. I need that leaf. The spinach. Fuck. 
Come on. All right. Well, at least we got Cane's of Labrador. That's that's fine. Okay. Now, we'll pick up everything else. Yeah, that's right. I don't need to worry about growth now. Um, we're just gonna wait. Cure, but increases might projectile speed and duration in air before that's true i don't like to use this unless i have uh what's her name sigma's weapon there take that and that and that and that and that oh hello <laughs> i'm like where did it go yeah yeah nope yeah nope Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I looked away for a split second. Let's pick up this one. Ooh. Got a five. Perf. Oh, my God. I got three Evos in one shot. That's nuts. I've never had that happen before. I'll take it. Oh, I walked into the boss. So, let's see. Everything else is maxed out here, and I have everything else to go in. So yeah, let's keep picking them up. Nice. Got another one to pick up. Nice. And I think that's that's almost all of them, but it's it's not all. There's a lot. Perfect. Blast this bitch. <laughs> you will dry. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Uh, let's pick this next one up. Oh, you know what? I think, um... This guy, its counterpart, which is the crown, needs to be maxed out. Now that I just, I think I just recalled that. A little bit too late. That's okay. Time to smoke these motherfuckers. I'm going to go open up that other, uh, that seal. There's the crown. We've got another 13 minutes. Oh, I'm playing Endless, so it's not that big of a deal, but noted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I was going to make one like nice long run out of it, since it's almost two. I was like, wait, really? I thought it was closer to two than I thought. It's, no, it's, it's five of. That's not what tree means. Uh, let's bring the cooldown reduction. That sounds fun. <sighs> oh, everything just moved over and I forgot to stand still. That's okay. All right, so we have one more to go. Just one. Boom. Okay, next chest. At oh, look at that. Got it. We are all maxed out in terms of our attacks here. Everything, all of this is passives. Oh, fuck. I, I didn't even see that. Fires one more projectile. XP gain decreased. Okay. I'll take it. Look how fucking disgusting this screen looks with all the fucking shit going on. <laughs> Adds one revival. That sounds fun. I'll take that. Thanks.
Five hundred projectile. Yeah, it's, I think that's maxed out now. It's nope. It's two more to go. Uh oh, this is the last stone mask. Okay, we'll just get that off the plate. Mm, effect lasts longer, yeah. Currents, huh? All right, well, that little bastard's dead now, so that's good. Oh, my God, I even see it. I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just so hard to see right now. They put out a banger album this year. Is this from the album? Out of curiosity. Yep, oh, okay. It is good. Uh, let's max out the Academy badge. And Mad Groove takes over now. Spell last spellbinder. The death we seek. Ooh. Alright, we got the last two to get. You know what? Fuck, we killed the rest of them. What's one more? Just a few candle Labradors level ups and we'll be done. <clears throat> Absolutely slaughtering the field right now. And that's the last one, I think. So is there, all right, so down into the left, although something looks like fun over here. Yep. Oops. Uh, random always, I don't care. This is the abyss right here, to the left. So I have to go further down somehow. Oh, hey. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to go around this here. Oh, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, boy! I'm walking a literal death. Oh, Veil of Maya again. <laughs> All right, it is over here. Somewhere over here. Further down this way. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, let's keep going to the left, then. Maybe there's a place to go down over here. I said maybe there's a place to go down over here. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Fuck. There we go. Yo, this gold fever's been fucking crazy. 8,300? Oof. 
The death we seek was nine for me according to my title. Wow. Now we have to go further down. Holy fuck. Nice, it's a good streak. Oh, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Just trying to hold. There we go. Further down into the depths we go. Oh God, what is happening? All right, it's this way. It's gotta be this way. To the left? Okay. All right. I'm not going to be able to fucking see this thing once we get there. Oh, God. Madgrove just took over, and I just got a bunch of fucking gems. I'm not even going to see the gem. I should all of a sudden just be walking, and then boom. Just above me here. There it is. We got it. Hell yeah, brother. Is the map opening up more? It's there's nothing there, but at least we well, there's definitely something else. There's another seal that I have to find, but Jesus. Yeah, I'm not sure there's much out here we can determine unless I find the seal. This is as visually noisy as Japanese shoot 'em ups. Yeah, this, this, all the upgrades that I have, I just have so many of them that there's so much going on in the screen. Normally it's not this much, but there's so many power ups just sitting around that I was able to pick up. Yeah, I wonder where this, the last seal is. It's probably somewhere outrageous. I need more ghoulies to come out, too. More ghoulies. If I get more ghoulies, I can confirm that I'll get, uh... I'll get two different achievements done in one run, which would be great. Are you winning, son? Yes! We opened up a Seal of the Abyss. And you can only do it with this character and their evolved weapons, so I was able to do it. So I'll play this till 30 minutes, like as if it was normal, then I'll I'll just escape out. Because we're playing endless mode. And I so you don't feel like sitting here playing endless all night. Because uh, it's after two in the morning. <laughs> I don't know where I am on the map. <clears throat> oh my god this number's everywhere i'm doing like 450 to 560 damage on some of these attacks my god let me just walk around in a circle now leveling up faster than i can fucking figure out Fifty thousand enemies killed already Hello. Oh, it's the artist boner. So 
so Keith told me a good story. It's the guy, I, uh, the editor I write for. He was telling me he was doing photography for a Thy Artist Murder show. And uh, the vocalist were in gym shorts. And I guess he had a raging erection the entire fucking set. I'm like, bro, you love your music that much. That's incredible. You're living the dream. <laughs> fucking crazy. What? <laughs> Did I not what? Boy, it takes Viagra before it's set for extra performance gains. <laughs> oh, should I just die without even paying attention? <laughs> oh, my God. Whoops. Oh. Uh, I'm getting smoked. Something was just fucking me up real bad. What the fuck is going on? Oh, so it's like Wall of Bosses territory right now. Yeah, I, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Can I make it to 30 minutes? Fuck. <laughs> So just stand still. Can't even see what's going on because of all your bullshit. I mean, honestly. There's so many fucking bosses roaming around, too. Yeah, no, see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different weapons. Well, we only have six. And this one is a consistent background of bullshit. And, like, there's, <laughs> there's just so much... It appears we're going to survive until the 30-minute mark. Just typically when everything blows up, Red Death comes out and I die anyways. This music puts me to sleep sometimes, for fuck's sakes. Okay. Oh, okay, Enforcer. Word. 30 minutes, we made it. Alright. Now we can actually exit and I'll feel better about it. So we unlocked Luminaire. Nice. And let's see how expensive is she. 27,500. That ain't bad. And that's her weapon, which we need to evolve as her to make that go, I guess. Triggers a rosary when leveling up. Gets a temporary might cooldown and move speed bonus after reviving. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, so we'll have to next time. Um. Oh, no, we this is Eleanor we need. Eleanor is the uh, the blue one, this one. But we do need to survive 15 minutes with Luminaire to unlock the prismatic missile into the random weapon cycle. And then, But we also do that, we'll get Genevieve, which she has Shadow Servant, which we'll need to evolve, which is that. Then with her, we have to kill 100,000 enemies in a single run. We have to defeat a total of 6,000 rotten ghouls, which we did. We saw a bunch of them, but that's 6,000. It's a lot. Um, and I know for a fact that's not over just one uh, one run because there's such an early, eh, an early enemy. They don't come back. <laughs> Is that Condor Man? Luminaire is greater than Queen Sigma? Really? That's crazy. Uh, and then Jane and Vive, uh, that battle is after we break the seal of the banished. 
actually like floating and shit. But yeah, I'm doing good. I get seven more achievements to get, or unlockables, I guess you could say. And then secrets, I still have a little over half. I gotta get the other ones at some point. Soma isn't here to argue, <laughs> so I'm right. <laughs> Fair enough. No one else has seems to have a, uh, an opinion on the matter, so we'll go with it. Uh, well, good. I'm glad I got a little Vampire Survivors action in there just for funsies. It's such a good game. Uh, but now... <coughs> We gotta go figure out who's on so we can raid. Well, Jam's on again. He's got a subathon going. We hit him up previously. Oh, Arco's streaming. I don't think I've ever raided Arco before. He's playing your average bear. Raid already? Yes, Fallen. We saw you were coming. We wanted to leave. RK? RK is not streaming. Raid, I just got here. Baka! <laughs> yeah, it's 2 a.m. here. I'm ready to go to sleep. We finished Killer Frequency today, and it was a good time. I saved most people, so that was good. Thank you, Twy, Will. And we had a good uh, good Vampire Survivors run there. Oh, Ar Ar Arco, RKO. Got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Fallen Twilight late as always. <laughs> Holy hell, go to bed, man. I, I, I probably should, huh? Have I ever been early? Guess not. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a good idea. So Arco, it'll be... Die slow. You're early for Zonum, always. <laughs> uh, if y'all want to do me a big favor... Um, outside of when we get there, please do drop Arco a follow. Die slow. Bum, 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 ba -da -bum. Um, we have some raid messages that we can use in chat when we get over there. No need to attack me. <laughs> um, so you'll see that top message there for subscribers. I'll, uh, I'll toss it down at the bottom again. Um, <clears throat> so if you're a subscriber, please do use that line. Otherwise, you can use one with the uh, red raid and pick accent. Uh, I'm on four other platforms. If you're interested in following my what what have yous, uh, YouTube, we got VODs. We got shorts. Pretty straightforward. Uh, TikTok, uh, it's the same thing as shorts, just on TikTok. Uh, Twitter is a fucking cesspool, and it's dying. But I'm over there. Uh, I'm also on Discord. Pretty fun Discord server. It's our home away from home. Uh, so drop in if you'd like. But uh, that's going to do it for me tonight. I'll be back on Monday with what? I don't know yet. So stay tuned. Um, I'll have some updates soon. Have fun with Arco. Have a great rest of your weekend. See you Monday. Goodbye.